Hello, everyone, and peace of Christ to all of you. Uh, today, uh, we welcome you all, and today, I hope today we will have a nice debate with someone from those who believe in Quran only. Uh, uh, I hope you will call soon. Now, supposedly, this guy, he's the one is asking for a debate. I don't know who is he, and I don't care, really. As you know, we welcome everybody. It doesn't matter how big, how small you are. However, he claimed that he have a strong knowledge of Islam and he is uh, coming here to debate me. So please share the link around with your friends and invite everybody. And let us see uh, if we can have a nice discussion with this man about Islam and about his religion. And we will see how good he is. Uh, you know, uh, in the front of you on the screen, well, we see a picture of a beautiful bird. And uh, the well-known thing about this bird that um, this kind of birds, they repeat words. But they don't understand really what they are saying. And I find that Muslims are the same. Muslims, they are people who repeat words but they do not know really what they mean or what those words mean. And when a Muslim, he tried to avoid answering for those words and why he is repeating th something he don't even understand, or when you ask him what those words mean, he avoid answering by saying, I am Quran only. Oh, you didn't see the screen yet? Okay, sorry for that. Here we go. Let us switch to the screen. Uh, thank you for telling me. So the Muslim is the same as the spirit. The second you ask him a question, in order to run away from what is written in his crazy books, he say, I am Quran only. Now today we will examine if those who believe in Quran only can even answer any questions yet after escaping all the, the the words of their prophet and what he said and what he claimed. So we want to see really if they are capable <clears throat> uh, to be Muslims, as they claim, by following the Quran only. Uh, I find that uh, this uh, group of people who say they are people who follow only the Quran, uh, they are just uh, trying to escape giving answers uh, trying to escape the explosion of Islam and they think they can do it but it doesn't work and we will see that today we will see uh, how if they are going to be able to answer or they will not be able <coughs> uh, look like he is texting me now um uh, Let us see if you will call. And we will see, you know, uh, how this uh, will end. I'm just waiting for the person. D guys, uh, if you don't mind, copy the link of YouTube, invite your friends, tell them we have a live debate. And the uh, Muslim already is here. He is just uh, brushing his teeth, sharpening them. Uh, maybe he can do something. We will see. Uh, he is from Pakistan. Well, he is welcome. It doesn't matter really where people are from. We respect everybody. Uh, where are you from? It doesn't make any difference, you know. You are black, you are white, you are yellow, you are blue. You know, me, myself, I'm blue sometimes. Sometimes, depend. Depend on the shampoo I use. So, you know. Uh, waiting for the Muslim gentleman to call. And remember, this gentleman, he is a, a Quran only. And he think by being Quran only, uh, he can escape the exposure of Islam. So we will see if he can do that or not. We are waiting for him to call. Please share the ring link with your friends. <coughs> and let us see. Now, I, some of you text me saying that there is a 
uh, like this guy and that guy want to debate you he want to set up a deal. I mean I am here every day almost and I keep saying any Muslim want to call me and and yet they cannot find me you know <clears throat> hello hello assalamualaikum wa alaikum assalam Mr. Fawad Ahmad how are you doing uh, I'm good thank you what about you I'm still alive thank you Lord everything God is good my friend so uh, I heard that you are a Quran only person right yeah okay and when you say Quran only can you explain to, to me and to the audience because we are live on YouTube already and people they are listening oh. to you and to me uh, what does that mean to say Quran only well we believe in the Quran alone as the Quran is the only divine source of religion and knowledge mm. and we disbelieve in the hadith because it's a mixture of truth and lies mostly it's a lie mm. but and but isn't it the yeah. Quran a hadith itself? Uh, yeah, Quran is a hadith. Okay, but you but said the hadith is a lie. Hadith. That's that's the hadith of Allah, the authentic hadith. No, no, no. Okay, the hadith of Allah is collected by who? Uh, it's collected by none. It was written by Prophet Muhammad himself. Who told you that Muhammad he wrote Quran? Well, the Quran ch uh, chapter 25 verse 5 says so. Chapter Quran what? Uh, chapter 25 verse 5 oh okay uh, what the what the verse they're saying Should tell us please uh yeah let me check it for you just just a second okay <clears throat> okay it says and they say legends of formal peoples which he has written down and they are dedicated to him morning and afternoon this is 525 yeah this is 25 5 Ah, 25, so it's okay, sorry, okay. Yeah. All right, because uh, I never heard of in 25, I mean 525 saying that, all right. And other than that, what Prophet is writing in this words, he's also reading in chapter 98. Yeah, but but the, but the verse you, you, you quote for me, my friend, it says the opposite, it says that this is a lie. So how you confirm yeah, the Quran but, for me? From... Yeah, I do understand. It does say that uh, the kuffar say that, but yeah. whenever Allah quotes a lie from the kuffar, like the hands of Allah have uh, are changed, like the Jew said. Mm -hmm. But Allah responds to that lie. Okay. Allah so so you are saying the, here because because of what word make you believe that Muhammad he wrote the Quran? Where well, says... he's also reciting from the pages as well. No, no. Okay. Did he recite or he write the Quran? I want you to make it clear for me. He has written and recited both from the. All right. Both. So, but you, are, you saw, but you are saying that you believe that Muhammad he can write and read, right? No, Muhammad can read and write. So how he wrote? So he, how he wrote the Quran? Well, he could read and write. Okay. That's, let that's me, how let he me ask you. Quran. You said you don't believe in the Hadith, right? Yeah, I don't believe in the how Hadith. How you how you come to the conclusion that Muhammad do not know how to write how to read? Well, Muhammad is actually writing the Quran in this verse. And he's reading in another verse, yeah, which this, is chapter but this, 98. But this is not the question. The question is, you confirmed to me a second ago that Muhammad do not know how to write, how to read. So how you were no, able to know? I think I've said that must be a mistake from my side. Oh, I'm okay. extremely sorry. All right. So so let us rephrase again. Do Muhammad know how to write, how to read, or he do not? Yes. He yes, knows. he did know how to All read right. and write. So if we go to chapter 1 in Al-Fatiha, and I want you to go with me, Al-Fatiha. I'm sure you know it by heart because you pray it every yeah. day, right? Okay. Now, the story there about Al-Fatiha uh, uh, in the Quran is speaking about Muhammad praying to his God, right? Yes. Okay. That's but, the but, first word, actually. Right. But then this is not the chapter, not, not the first chapter Muhammad he received. Uh, uh, the first chapter Muhammad he received supposedly is Al-Qalam, correct? No, no, that's not correct. This is the first chapter. This is what he revealed. The full story is in the Quran in chapter 53, how the first revelation was given to Muhammad and how Muhammad actually met Gabriel, in, the angel for in, the first in, time. In, in which chapter? It's chapter 53. Chapter 53, what verse? Yeah, let me open it up just a second. Because that's a fake story where it says Ikra Bismi Rabbi Kalazi Khalak. So the, this, uh, that's actually a fake story. Okay, so this verse is fabricated, you mean? No, the verse is not fabricated. The verse okay. is just a general verse. Allah is speaking to everyone. Just okay. read in the name of Allah. Oh, okay. So the rest, uh, Muhammad saying, I cannot read, etc., is a fabrication, you mean? Uh, yeah, that's a fabricated story. The true story that is in Suratul Najam. 
from verse 5 to verse number 13. I mean, it's quite clear that uh, so, talk to him by one five. intelligence uh, strength, one of soundness. Chapter, chapter 5? No, no, chapter 53, verse number 5. Oh, okay. Well, if we go there, as long as this is the verse you are saying, uh, you know, is the one where the, the, the revelation started, you mean, right? Yes, this is about, no, no, this is not about, uh, Allah is actually explaining later on in the Quran how the first revelation was revealed. Okay, so uh, let me get the final answer. What is the first revelation Muhammad received? That's Surah Al-Fatiha. Al-Fatiha, where you can, com how you can confirm that this is the first revelation? Well, uh, we believe that it's word of God and it cannot be corrupted. Even the chapters cannot be, you know, okay. uh, misplaced or something. I want you, I want you like to go with me. Let us 96 go. chapter right. one that's just nonsense let, let us go let us go with you in chapter 53 verse number one i want you to explain to me the first verse what when najmu either how i mean uh right i'll have to check just a second i actually haven't opened the first verse yet mm Well, it says by the star when it descends, and my Arabic is not very good. I'll be honest with you on this one. No problem. So, what does that when mean? That mean what, what, what does it mean? Yeah. The stars descend or goes down? What does that mean? That doesn't make any sense. Uh, uh, Allah is just, uh, you know, uh, just like Allah, you know, uh, says by the olives. What does and, that mean? You know, by the faith. That that's how Allah is speaking. Well, what do you mean? This is how Allah. You know, that, you know, if I, if you, if you speak to me, and I say yeah. by by the rabbit, do you think I'm making fun of you? What do you mean? What do you mean? I say by by the rabbit. Well, you can say you that. swear. No, you swear. No, I don't swear by the rabbit because the rabbit is not uh, not a big value for me, and he's nothing. Yeah. So this is no, God. Actually, what it so, actually so, means so, is the star descended. The star actually descended to Muhammad. The star was an angel. So the star is an angel. No, it's sort of a similarity. No, no, the way no, no. It, the word, the word, the word, the word. It says a star, and star is a star. So yes, yeah, star. Uh, is, uh, so do you do you believe like a star when it was in no, the sky? No, no, my friend. It, I, no, descend. don't don't assume. Where, where do you get this story that angel is the same as a star? Is that from the Quran? No, no, that's so. Uh, why why you are bringing this uh, uh, comparison comparison between them? Star is a star, so. Your God Allah swear him by the star when to go down. And this is a very false statement because the stars don't go down. Remember, down where? We are in the earth. Well, you can say meteorites and stuff. So So Allah he swear by the met, um, uh, 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 by uh, by a little rock coming down to the earth? Yes, you can say that. Why he do that? Well, to be honest with you, I I, I don't know. Okay, so you have no idea. First question is gone. Your companion is neither astray nor being misled. What does that mean? Uh, that means he speaks the truth. Who is the companion? Companion is Prophet Muhammad here. It says your companion. Your companion. Yes, uh, okay, who is your? Was speaking who is, to people who is your, uh, in who, that time, speaking hold, hold, to people that when Muhammad was among them. How you he know was, he is speaking to the people, not to Muhammad? Well, my friend, my friend, I say that, that's how the Quran is. No, written. no, no, this that's is this is no, my friend. Let me teach you some Arabic. In Arabic, yeah. it's, it's not the same as English. In Arabic, when we say, like you see here, you are reading the word you, right? And yeah. you can be used for a group and can be used for one person in English, right? In Arabic, yeah. the story is different. It says, yeah. It's one individual, all right? Yeah, right. one individual. Okay, one, one individual. Who is this individual? He cannot be anyone. Huh? Yeah, he have to be a specific person. Who is this specific person? Well, that's Muhammad according to our understanding. All right, let us say it is Muhammad as you said. Now, if we go in the verse uh, uh, after, it says, "Wama yantiqu anil hawa." What does that mean? He does not speak from hawa, his desire. Thank you very much. So, how you refuse the hadith if Muhammad don't speak of his own desire? Because the only word Muhammad speak is the Quran, chapter number sixty. So Muhammad never talked. Uh, so Muhammad he never opened his mouth. Hold on, hold on, hold on. So Muhammad never opened his mouth in his life except Quran. Well, okay. he well he did. He okay. did. He actually Let, has done stuff. Okay. Um, how I mean, how many? Just, just, just to, to be sure. That bring me food Mr. and this and that. He yeah, Mr. Fuad, Mr. Fuad, 
how many times you pray a day? Five times. All right. I want you to show me the verse in the Quran. It says you pray five times a day. Well, there is no such verse. You have to calculate but you say uh, it. the no. verses from the Quran where it no. no. says that, you no. know, praise no. Allah at this time. There, is no, this there time. is no such a thing. The Quran in front of us, show me where in the Quran it says you pray five times. Take your time. No, there's no such verse. I'll be honest okay. with you. Where so it says you, just say it. you just it say it. It gives you timings. Yeah, you just say it. You are Quran only, but yet there's no such a thing. If we calculate all those timings, it becomes five. What, what timing? You just said there's no such a thing. No, but there is no verse that says pray five times. Okay, but what, it gives what, you timings. what the verse is saying in the Quran? How many times you pray? Well, if you calculate, it becomes five. Don't tell me calculate. Let us calculate together where it says that we can calculate and we will get the conclusion if it's five. In the well, Quran, the Quran my friend, for open time. for me chapter 11, verse 114. It says, Three times a day. This is Quran. Well, because Allah speaks of, uh, you know, re regarding the little children, that they should ask your permission. My friend, this is not the question. Who cares about the little children? Now? The so Allah, he did not make rules for the children regarding the prayer. Never exists in the Quran. This is a verse about how he's speaking to men, to the Muslims, and establish the regular prayer at the two ends of the day and the approach of the night. How many the total according to your understanding from this verse? Chapter 11, verse 114. Uh, just let me open it up. Uh, chapter 11 verse 14 mm -hmm. That's, uh, sorry that, that, just, uh, it's 114 not 14 sorry 114 right it's okay yeah. 11 114 And establish prayer at the two ends of the day and approaching of the night. Indeed, good deeds do away with misdeeds. Hmm. Well, two ends of the day and approaching of the night, it means three. Okay, so how you pray five? You can find similar verses where, where you can find additional salats other than this. Okay, like Salat so al-Wusta, the mid middle player. This is, middle where, well, player. this is the middle Wusta, the one is between. The one is between is the Wusta. You know what Wusta? Wusta is the one between. Yeah, Wusta means middle. Middle, yes. But there's the middle is he he just told you the two end of the day and the approach of the night. So this is the middle yes. one. Okay, so where is the where is the five? There's no five in the Quran. So why you don't follow this verse in the Quran saying three time? Well, till next time I'll uh, get all my verses ready for the five prayers. No problem. You know, you take a note about this. Let us go to second something else. Yeah. You do evolution before you pray, correct? Yeah. Okay. How you learn to do the evolution? Well, it's uh, Quran chapter five, verse number six that says so. How? Show me. Read for yeah, me. Yeah. Like, uh, oh, you who have believed when you try to perform prayer, wash your face and your forearms to the elbows, and wipe over your head and wash your feet to the ankles, mm. and that's it. But doesn't say how what you say, what to do, how to do it, right? No, it's just clear. Just wipe your head. Just wash your feet and ankles. How many? How many times? Just wash them. Not two. Not no, two. Allah has given no time, so you just have to wash them once. Okay, so those who do three time, etc., those are wrong. They should. No, no, that's it. just nonsense. Ah, uh, nonsense. Okay. And also, you know, reciting stuff as well. Like uh, some people recite Shahada, mm. some Bismillah while doing Wuzu till they finish. I mean, that's just you know uh, too much. All right. Well, so now what we learn from you that you don't follow uh, hadith, but yet, as an example, the Quran, at least until now, we learned that the prayer is not accurate uh, as a calculation for you. Now, let me ask you, you heard of something called al muta Yes, I have heard, but I have not found al muta in the Quran. What do you mean they don't find it? It says tamatta. Well, tamatta. Is here. It means enjoyment of worldly life, according to the Quran, the word okay. muta. What does that mean? What does that mean? It says Muta literally means enjoyment. Yeah, but it what it says in the verse. Can you read for the for me the verse? Uh, 
Well, I don't have with me at the moment. Uh, the verse is quite simple that uh, the life of this world is just more right. enjoyment. Okay, it says, and those who you did enjoy them, you pay them their wages. No, 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 that, that's a, a separate verse. Uh, What's I separate? have not seen such verse. Uh, it's in front of me in the screen. You can look with me. It says, فَآتُهُنَّ أُجُورُهُنْ And pay them uh, their so wages. I don't think I'm on your channel. Uh, you can... Uh, uh, Okay, right. Let, let, open it up let me showing. let me give you a link. Okay. Let me give you a link in Skype. Hold on. Well, I'm on laptop as well. And okay. Any, anyway, is, anyway, uh, this is you can open start. your Quran from your side. Chapter four, verse number twenty-four. Four verse twenty-four. Let me mm -hmm. open it. <clears throat> yeah. Hmm. So why, and why, you why, why, you pay, right, why you want to pay? Why you want to pay? Right hand. That says the word muta. I don't think I've seen it in this. It's word, there. So. It says istamtatun bihi min min hun faatuhunna ujuruhun. Those who you enjoy of of it, not even them. Bihi. Do you know what bihi? Do you know what bihi mean? Do you know what bihi? Do you know? Do you know? Do you know what bihi mean? Uh, bihi. Bihi. Means. Bihi is the bihi. same as it. This. Like yeah, it's, it a, it's, this. it's a yeah. it's an object or a part. So what is yeah. the object or the part they enjoy in the women? Uh, what is the part you enjoy? Well, the word I don't see the word muta here. To be honest, yeah, my friend, it you. says doyer stamta. This is the muta stamta tom, stamta tom. Fa ma stamta tom bihi min min hun fa tuhun na ujura hun. So those yeah, who did enjoy of it, of it. Uh, okay. Yeah, I, I agree with you. The, uh -huh. This word, uh, word actually, you know, the root word is muta all right. and all. All right. But so, it speaks of enjoying your marriage. So no, uh, no, I'm fine with no, it. no, no. It doesn't say that, my friend. Look, look, look carefully. It, it's already the verse it spoke about marriage, huh? Uh, yeah. uh, uh, and we do not need to repeat it again. And then it continues saying, "Who is the ones are lawful for you to enjoy them, additional to the marriage?" It's, well, forbi it's forbidden for you. Speech, it's forbidden for you. Hold on. It's forbidden yeah. for you. Women, they are married, except if they are your slaves, which means if they are slaves, you can have sex with them, even if they are married. Then he continues saying, and he allowed you whatever after that. It's, so you seek with your money. With uh, your money. Yes, I do understand what right. you're saying, okay. but if you really look at these words, uh, well, mm. mohsanatu. What does the word mean? It does not mean married woman. No, it means married, married No, no mar well. mah The same is word is used for Mary as well, the mother of Christ. No, no, no. So no, the no, 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 my friend, no, no. Mahsanat is a married woman. It's why it's forbidden for you then. Why they are forbidden if they are not married? It says forbidden for you, women who they are well, not. Single woman is not forbidden, right? I have to go into the context. I mean, I had trouble with this verse as well, understanding, but it does mm. not speak of married woman at all. First of all, the verse before this, it actually convinces you to marry such woman. Who marry whom? What? Uh, most not. No. <laughs> you know, it's forbidden for you, my friend. How do you want to marry someone? She is forbidden for you. It says forbidden for you. This is what it says. Read carefully. You can read any translation. What the translation you are reading? Well, uh, I'm reading the English translations, Sahih International, and the Arabic as well. Okay, so this is that the translation you like, Sahih International? Well, that's what I normally go with. Yeah, but don't tell me normally. I want you to tell me which one you accept. Um, I don't really accept any, to be honest. So you, I so what? I mean, are we, uh, just for my, the my friend, are we going to play games? I don't accept any. You are a Muslim and you go or Quran by uh, only, but you do not know Arabic. Well, you do not know. know so how you how you know? Okay, you are a Quran only now. So all your religion is based in the Quran, but yet you cannot trust any translator. So how you will get the answer for what you believe in? Well, we can try with the Arabic. I don't see the word. You know. But you do not speak Arabic, my friend. What do you mean? Can try with the Arabic? Yes, you don't speak Arabic, but that does not mean I cannot read the Quran. But That's if you don't understand Arabic, Arabic, because if you don't speak Arabic, you do not know Arabic. What do you mean you read Quran in Arabic, but you do not know Arabic? How you know Arabic, but you do not know Arabic? Well, I can translate with the words and... Okay, what the, what the word is Tanta? What the, what the word is Tanta mean? Where is that? Astamta. What do you mean where it is? Stamta. You, you, you cannot find it? Yeah, it means uh, same. Enjoy. It's the same uh, word as the mota. Okay. So now, it says that those women you enjoy yet what it, 
you enjoy it what is that yeah, it enjoy it be he it yeah what is that what is that it is woman is an it well the, that's how the quran speaks i don't i'm asking you my friend i know this is how the quran speak this is why we are talking about it so you enjoy it and then from them from them the women what you enjoy yet what is that thing the men the men enjoy it to the point if they enjoy yet there they have to pay the women money well that's the part of islamic uh, marriage that you have to pay them for what why you Regardless pay them you why you right why you paid anyway. why you are pay them for enjoy yet you see you don't understand the arabic very well obviously be he be he is yeah. about something not the women it's not the women there is there is a joy you got there be he about like something there is something it's it it's a part it's a physical part what is that you did enjoy it so if you enjoy it you have to pay them money yeah okay what is that her hair her eyes her fingers what you enjoy it and if you enjoy it, you have to pay her money. Well, that does not mean Mota. Uh, uh, the word speaks of marriage, and that's your understanding of the words. And I, I don't have anything against you. That's your understanding. My I, this understanding is, my, is this is not my understanding. This is understanding of 1.5 billion Muslim. Well, it's their understanding, then I don't go with, uh, go with them. Oh, okay, so don't tell me then this is my understanding because we can go right now to all Islamic interpretation. They will tell you this is what it means. This is about the prophet. He allowed the mutah. Well, I reject the interpretations as well. No They're problem. Being written but but by now the you are giving me your interpretation. So how come you reject? Uh, I understand you refuse the hadith, but now you are giving me your own interpretation. How you can confirm that this is not about mutah when it says istam ta'tum? Well, I've told you that, that it means muta, so it's same. All right, let me ask you a very simple question. Mm -hmm. Which yeah. one Allah created first? Yeah, that's a complicated question. <laughs> what Allah created first? What is the first thing this? Allah created? Well, uh, Allah cre uh, created the heavens and the earth and everything. The darkness and the light. Mm -hmm. So uh, this is not my question. My question what Allah created first what is the first thing Allah created well uh, to remember you, 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 you are a Quran sort of answer in the Quran that what well, what Allah created first you are a Quran what, what you, are a, you are a Quran only person yeah so you can yeah, take your time find me what is yeah. the first thing Allah created based on what you learn from the Quran well, according to my knowledge, as much as I've studied, I have absolutely no idea. So I wouldn't just lie to you and make something up. Okay, can you give me a guess? No, I can't really, because there is no such verse that says this was made first, the first of creation. Really? Are you sure? Yeah. Okay. Yeah, I think so. Okay, let us see. We will go in the Quran. Okay, we will see. All right, read for me, please. Chapter 2, verse number 29. Verse, chapter number 2, verse number 29. Okay, is he who created you all of that which is on earth? Then he directed himself to the heaven and made the seven heavens, and he is knowing of all things. Hmm. Well, it doesn't say anything was created first. Really? What do you mean? It says, let us read again, my friend. Let us read again. Yeah. Okay. This is a translation of Yusuf Ali. You can change the translation if you want. It is he who has created for you all things that on earth, moreover, or he then. He designed and he comprehend the heaven. Which one finished first? Well, uh, both were done at the same time. No, doesn't say that. Heavens and the earth. It's my friend. I know the Arabic you know, word. Okay, do you know what the word thumma mean? Thumma. Thumma means, uh, thumma has two meanings. It yeah, means what? simultaneously and then. That's a, that both my, my friend, whoever said that to you simultaneously, it, 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 his, his, this is a big fat lie. Do you want me to go right now to dictionary? Thumma 
mean well, after so that and there's a yeah. di and there is a, there is a time not only it is it's not right away after summa it's mean there is a period of time actually there's a guy his name learning Quran Arabic Quran you can yeah. go he have a video explaining what summa mean and he explained to you that summa is about you speaking about the second or next period but there is a there is a distance of time so this is something happened first and this is something happened after however there is a different of time like a lot of time so who will let the color my feel of the jammy on some in a summer is to or is to it a summer for so well who knows about some of it and you can read like you are saying to me you read the uh, you know uh, uh, yeah, I'm fine with the Arabic if you go with the Arabic. I mean, you don't have to worry about yeah. the translation. Okay. You no can problem. just go with that. Yeah, but uh, as you see, it says uh, the, the earth was created first. Is that possible? Well, as I've told you, this is Quranic Arabic, and I can't really refer to any dictionary outside the Quran. No, so I'm asking you, is it, is it possible that uh, the earth is created first? Well, uh... <clears throat> The verse seems like give the understanding if you translate summa as then means after there's a there's no know, other translation yeah. for summa. I, I, you know you, uh, people are recording me and people they can make fun of me if I'm lying. There's no other translation. Summa mean after that. So is that possible that the earth is a created first? Well, earth is just a planet and heavens uh, they're actually just you know collection of many planets earth has not, nothing compared to heavens i'm not talking about comparing i'm not comparing i'm saying which one is the created first is it possible that the earth well, all of them were created at the same time who told you that where do you get this from this is the question where do you get this from well if you listen to zakir naik as well who is I'm, who I'm, is I'm who is who is zakir naik who is zakir naik zakir naik is not even quran only so why you are witnessing for a guy who himself he don't speak arabic he is not an you are referring to the same people as well some I, of them not, translate i'm not i'm not i never i never refer to anyone i'm showing you quran i never refer to anyone who is right zakir naik if i want to play with him i can smash him easy i'm talking to you like in a friendly talk i'm not debating you who is zakir naik zakir naik doesn't even know how to read the quran so yeah i do actually agree with you on yeah, as an example zakir naik he said the word whore does not mean female do you agree with him no, I wouldn't. Which mean in the heaven, your mother, with my respect to your mother, she is going to have a male guy to sleep with her. This is what he said. So who is that guy? Don't mention his name. So now let us let us let us let us go back to the topic. Yeah. Is that a mistake or this is not a mistake that the earth is a creation? I wouldn't first? call it a mistake. There's not a single mistake in the Quran. Hmm? What do you mean? I wouldn't call it a mistake. It's just classical Arabic. Maybe they spoke this way back then. So I wouldn't count this as a mistake. Mm. But how how Allah He created the earth, uh, everything in earth, and then He went to the sky, and He made it seven skies. How this happened? Just, just let's, let's, yeah. let us make it simple. Let us go to the front verse in the Quran. Yeah. Let us go to the front verse. All right. Go for yeah. me. Go with me to chapter forty-one, verse number eleven. Forty-one verse eleven. Yep. Okay. What that verse is saying? Read for me, please, from the translation you have. So mastawa ilas samai. I mean, that's the same thing. Then he directed himself uh, to the heavens. Mm. Okay. So what does that mean? While it was a smoke and said to it to what the word is oh, what the well, word, what the word is what I, the word is tawa mean? It means directing uh directing what directing Who himself is that? what is that yeah is, do Allah need to direct himself like or does that mean he changed direction what does that mean well of course Allah's creating has to be a direction what do you mean well we don't know to be honest with you I have no knowledge okay, so until now all the answers we you got know, from you unseen, so I, I can't really answer okay these I want you to read for me then let us read the verses there because I ask you to read 41 verse number 11 so let us read from verse number nine all the way to verse number 12 or 14. It's up to you. You can read 10 verses before, 10 verses after, so you don't say, I am misquoting. Yeah, I do actually know what you mean. Yeah. yeah. So what this verse, uh, this chapter is talking about. Starting from verse number nine, if you wish to go before, but the, the topic before have nothing to do with this. So from mm -hmm. verse number nine, it's speaking about how he created the earth. Is that correct? Yeah. Okay. Right. Ex translate for us and explain. 
in a second let me open 419 which verse you want me to start from nine verse number nine. 41 nine yeah Say, so do you indeed disbelieve in he who created the earth in two days and attribute to him equals? Mm. That is the Lord of the worlds. Mm. And he placed on the earth firmly set mountains over its surface and he blessed it and determined there in its creatures. Mm. Sustenance in four days without distinction mm. uh, for the information of those who ask. Okay. I mean, uh, if you look, you can, if you translate summas, then you can just, uh, you know, unless finish explaining them. Okay. Explaining? Explaining that those who are asking, uh, those who ask that no. how the earth was created and no. unless finished, then Allah says, then he directed himself to the heavens. Okay. So then you start so base, base, all so, okay. over again when it so, was a small. All right. So based on this, who is uh, Allah created the earth first or the heaven first? In front well, of me, all, in all front of me, simultaneously. No, my friend, it says there clearly. You see, this is a Muslim translation I'm using. Then he rose over Istawa towards the heaven when yeah. it was a smoke. So, in that time, the, the heaven was a smoke, there's nothing. And yeah. said to it, uh, And to the earth come both of you willingly or unwillingly. Yes, and Allah then, is repeating himself again in much detail when it was no, a small, my friend, no, no, my friend. Okay, let me let me ask. Let, let, let us make it simple. Let's make it simple. Look, hold, hold, on, hold, hold on, hold on. In verse number ten, it says, "He placed therein an earth, firm mountains." Correct. Yes. Okay. Yeah. Yep. When the earth was having its own mountain, and then on the top of that, he blessed it with all measures, which mean grass, substance, trees. All right. During this time, the sky yeah. was a smoke. Do you agree? Yes. Okay. That's mean there was no stars. Yes, there were no stars. Just yeah. smoke. In the stars, there's smoke. There was just smoke, and stars were created from after. smoke. Yeah, but the, the the stars was created after the tr the trees and the mountains, correct? No, after the creation of stars, uh, earth, and heavens, then the creation of uh, life was. No, no, no. You see, in verse number 10, my friend, listen carefully, watch carefully. It says, yeah. he placed, he, he created the earth in two days. And yeah. then, then he placed therein on earth ma firm mountains above it, from above it. Yes. And then he blessed it with all measured therein its substance, which means substance is the trees, grass, etc. Yeah, substance. Okay. In four days. Okay, now we have two days plus four days. Then he continues saying, and he rose to the heaven. No, he does not continue. That's the problem. So my Allah's finished with the previous. Then Allah is explaining again the cycle, the full no, cycle. No, no, my, my then you know you speak our English. Come on, when I say then, it's mean I did that after. Well, Allah speaks like this in the Quran. So my, that, my that friend, don't tell me Allah speaks speak like speak. this. I know Allah so, speaks like this. Let me go. Let me go here. All right. This is your Islamic. Uh, where is the website? To be honest with you, CP, I don't really agree with the Sunnis and uh, others, so there's no point. I, I mean, I don't know what answers they have for twisting the Quran. They've been twisting Quran for a long time, so I wouldn't agree so, with their understanding. So okay, uh, you know, uh, uh, if if somebody says something to me. I don't agree mm -hmm. with him, then I, I delete all, even the dictionary. Who care about the Sunni? We can try and see what the Sunni, what the Shia, what etc. say. We don't agree with any of them, no problem. But we have Arabic word, and the Arabic word is written in the in the dictionary. If we go right now to the dictionary, the dictionary says to us that Thumma, it's mean after that. As well, one that. of the first dictionaries for the Arabic is Quran. That's false, my friend. The Quran does not exist before Arabic. Quran exists long after Arabic. Who told you that? Well, uh, Arabic was not a written language. My friend, back, listen, listen. It was newly been see, written. This is the dictionary. This is the dictionary. Do you see it? I put the dictionary for you in the screen. I don't know if you can see it or not. Sorry, I'm not. I'm still not on your YouTube. It says channel. afterward, so, immediately afterward, and after after that time, after that, therefore, this is the use after that, afterward. You know, uh, 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 so later, later on. So all of this yeah. is is what what the what the thumma mean. 
Okay, so, CP, if you really go by the dictionary, then I have a really small part of the verse. If you can translate for me, even I have trouble with that one. Okay, what uh, what what verse? It's chapter number uh, 39, verse 23. All you have to read is just the first line. Allahu nazala ahsanul hadisi kitaban mutashabihan misani. That's it. Okay, well, you know, that, 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 uh, that uh, uh, verse you quote for me is a horrible verse. Uh, just the first part that's it. because because that the one you just quote for me it says that Allah he sent a book nobody can understand is that correct no it it says Allah sent a book best book astronaut hadith uh, had, uh, you know book of best hadiths yeah Mutashabi, unclear masani often repeated is that so what you just did you just say, say did you just say did you just say any clear Mutashabi actually literally means similar, but in Quranic context, it means unclear verses. Okay, so the, Allah is saying to you that this book I, He sent you a book is any clear. Yes, and that's the best. And you are book. trying to explain to me the Quran from any clear book. Sorry, pardon. And you are trying to explain to me the Quran from any clear book, because you just said this is what it means. Allah well, saying the book is any clear. That's the problem because the Arabs cannot understand this verse because of the corruption. My friend, so why Allah uh, He sent the book do down? You want to translate the verse? Why for you? Why Allah He sent the the book down in a language nobody understand and the book no, is no, unclear? No, that's not what Allah means. That's where uh, you know the understanding of the Quran has been lost. I'll translate it for you. And okay, hold on. Hold on. Makes sense. Let us go Allah back. Let us go back, my friend. Allah 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 my, okay, oh, okay, hold on, hold on. Let's go back. Let's go back. Yeah. You see. Uh, because it looked like we are going to go in a, in a circle and we, we will not uh, uh, reach into a conclusion this way if we go back yeah, here if we go back here in the in the chapter 41 uh, and yeah. read from verse number nine already or, 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 or let us see go uh, yeah 41 uh, nine yeah. he placed there in in the earth firm mountains above it was the mountains yeah. placed in the top of the earth? Yeah, the uh, mountains are on top of the earth anyways. No, that's I mean, not true. This is not true. Who said that to you? Who said that the true. mountains in the top of the earth? Never seen no, it says here, mountains. it says, it says, he placed therein on in the earth firm mountains. He placed, yeah. you know what placed mean? He put it there. Yeah, but is the mountain something thrown in the top of the earth, or the mountain is some coming coming from inside the earth? Well, we don't really know because we were never there. What do you mean never there? Science tell us that how how mountains are made. You no, know, we have yeah. When uh, plates collide with each other, then the mountains are right. formed. So it's not a place. So this is a false statement. Mountains are not placed in the well, top. According of to you, you can say that it's false for you. But to no. be honest with you, I, I don't have anything against you, so I don't know why you're doing this to me. I'm not doing anything to you. We are talking about religion. There's nothing personal here, my friend. What are you talking about? So here, what we have, you are trying to deny it. Allah is saying to you that He created the earth in two days, and then in four days He put all things together in the top of the earth, including the mountain. He put it in top of the earth. Then He made the substance in the top of the earth, and this is all in four days. And then after that. Hmm? He did Stawa Stawa actually you said to me directed is that a move? Well, I don't really know it's uh, a Stawa means direct uh, Directing my friend the word is Stawa I mean level himself he level himself Yeah, you can say that All right. yeah. so level himself I... toward the heaven isn't it that mean? Uh, 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 he moved toward the heaven Well the verse says so then it must be true all right so we agree now both me and you that he leveled himself toward the heaven moving toward the heaven and the heaven was a smoke so when there was a smoke in the sky there was a full earth yeah okay but the, the here if you read with me after that you will see that Allah then after that he completed and finished from yeah. their creation as seven heavens in two days and he made in each heaven its affair and we adorned the near, nearest lowest heaven with lamps which means the lamps was created long after the creation of any thing in the earth do you agree yes 
Yeah, you can say that. Okay. Yeah. So, guys, I want everybody to take notes. Mr. Fawad, he just said that the stars, to make it simple, created after creating the, the, the trees and the mountains. Finally, we came to an agreement, me and Mr. Fawad. That's, that's wonderful. Now, and this is as we see in the chapter uh, 41, uh, verse number uh, 9 to 12. Now, if we go to chapter yeah. 79. 79, right? Yeah. Which verse? We can go from verse number 27. <laughs> Seven. Yeah. Okay. Can you read for me from verse number 27? Are you more difficult creation or is the heaven Allah constructed it? Hmm. Yeah. I mean, that's an easy verse. I mean, uh, that heaven was a much more complex creation okay. compared to humans. Yeah. What does that mean? So he created the heaven, correct? Yeah, heaven and the li and the life of right. heaven. What, as okay. Well. What is the what is the verse after it? Continue, please. Right. Yeah. Sure. He raised its ceiling and per proportioned it, hmm. and he darkened its night and extracted its brightness. Mm -hmm. And after that, he spread the earth. Okay. Yeah. Did you just say it after yeah. that? Did you just say it after that? Yeah, and after okay. that. So what after that happened? After that, he worked in the earth and he made the earth flat. Well, that's all happening simultaneously. My friend, you are the one who used. No, it's not in the same time. You are the one who said after that. This is not my, not me. And I ask you twice. Did you say after that? You said yes. After what is that? You can meet within those two days okay, after no, the heavens. After after he finished the heaven, he made he 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 start working in the earth, making it flat. Continue, please. Yes. Okay. Verse number okay, thirty and thirty-one. From okay. it, its water and its pasture mm -hmm. and the mountains, he said firmly okay. as provision for you and you grazing livestock and you grazing livestock. That's wonderful. And hold on, hold on, hold on. Two minutes ago, I asked you. Do you agree that the stars are created after the earth is finished and the mountains and the trees? You said yes. Everybody is my witness. This yeah. chapter here, and you are the one who used the word after that, not me. Saying yeah. the opposite, saying he finished the sky, he finished yeah. the stars, he finished the perfection of the sky, and then after that, he made the earth flat, and then he put in it all the mo uh, uh, mo uh, moisture and uh, pasture which mean grass and trees and etc and he plays the mountains so this is a total contradiction for the other chapter we read in chapter 41 because remember you are the one who said to me and you agreed that the stars there is created after the earth is having mountains. well the shining stars the shining the lamp ones they were the ones created later my friend on. You are the, there's no shiny star there's no dead star i ask you there's no stars I, saw, I said to you is the sky at that time is a smoke and then i read for you the verse the first it says and then we decorated them with lamps so lamps is created after the mountains and etc and you agree with that so now what do you mean shiny star there's a star there's a there's a stars there they are not shiny and star, stars is a star so yeah but <laughs> Listen, he said decorated the the, the you know your, your God even never spoke about stars. They are not shiny. All the stars are shiny. So listen carefully. Uh, uh, well, not every planet we, in we the heaven is a star. We don't want to we don't want to be hypocrite, my friend. Be honest with yourself. You just prove to us from the Quran only that the Quran is a crazy book. Because look here, according to this chapter, the last thing Allah he did, he placed the mountain in it. In the other verse we showed you, the mountain was finished before he put the substance of the earth. Here, yeah. he finished the, the, the substance of the earth and then he put the mountains. But this is all happened after he finished all the perfection of the heaven. But in the other chapter, the heaven was just a smoke. And then after that, he went, he leveled himself. And you are the one who said you agree that he leveled himself in the direction. You said that. So he moved himself, he leveled himself toward the heaven. And at that time, it was a smoke. And I ask you, do you agree that the verse here saying that then he created the stars, the lamps? You said yes. This I said to you, 
Do you agree that the stars and the lamps are created after the creation of the substance of the earth and the mountain of the earth? You said yes, and everybody is my witness. This is recorded. But in the other verse we are reading in chapter 79, it says the opposite. It says that Allah, he did finish everything in the heaven, made it in a perfection. That's it. Yes. And then it's night, doth in dew and darkness and splendor. So now we have day and night. We have stars already. And right. then he says, and the earth, we made it flat, which is another mistake because the earth is not a flat. And then after that, we created the trees and the and the and the flowers and the grass and etc. And then after that, we moved, we put the mountains fixed in the top of the earth. This is total opposite order from chapter 79. Well, uh, the thing is, it's all happening in those six days. So that doesn't matter, my friend. Who cares if it is six days or seven days? This is not the question. The question, if I am God, I don't remember which one I made first. So I say two chapters. One of them saying, I say the stars are done at the end. And the other cha chapter, I say the stars are done before the earth. And then after, and the last one became the mountain. In the other, in the other verse 41, the first thing Allah, he made in the earth after he created the earth, it was the mountain. Read really carefully. He created well, the earth. Honest, we, do, we don't know what the word earth really means. Earth could 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 mean the earth on this planet or the earth of Mars. What do you mean? He's Maybe talking the about our earth, my friend. Muslims don't believe in two on. earth. Are you saying to me there's a, uh, Allah is talking about two uh, other earth? Many other planets, they all have earth. It doesn't they don't, don't, I want a specific answer? Don't please let us not play, play games. Is, is yeah, Allah sure. speaking about our earth or different earth? Well, that's a complicated one because I'm not. This is not a complicated one. You are trying to avoid the answer. I'm asking you, I, I, will, I will repeat again, please. Let us be honest. Yeah. Is Allah speaking about this earth in this chapter? Or he is speaking about different this earth? earth as well as the other earths in paradise as well, because paradise is also an okay, earth. Okay, my friend. So but, be but, as well. but, but the Quran says it clearly that Allah, he created for you. And the substance yeah. for you and the trees for you the whole chapter about speaking yeah, about for you yes, then i would agree with you okay that, that means so yes. now this is about our earth so one chapter yeah. saying the earth was completed first the substance the trees the 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 uh, the, the cats the rats the, the 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 mosquitoes the goat the animals are created because you know all, everything is finished then after that allah he went to the a uh, 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 sky and the sky was a smoke so after he finished the smoke smoked the sky uh, 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 made them seven heaven then he created lamps those lamps are the stars you know and not only that Allah he confirmed that the stars are located in the lowest heaven lowest heaven yes which mean that there is no stars in the second heaven or third heaven now this lowest heaven lowest heaven to what to the earth do you agree yes to the earth okay how how in the world such a thing can be said because according to your god the only stars it does are, not say there are no stars beyond ever no it says that thing. he says he made in each heaven its affair and we adorned the nearest lowest heaven with lamps so only this one have lamps it does not say we didn't adore other heavens with the lambs. No, it so says that clearly it because because no, the where is where he he said clearly where is the lambs are located? It is in the lowest heaven. However, this is not really important for my focus for, for me. You admitted, and everybody is my witness, that the Quran is a total book of contradiction. Once Allah He says, "I finish the trees, I finish the grass, I finish the goat." I put the mountains, I placed everything, the, the earth became perfect, and the, at all this time, the, the, the sky was a smoke. And then Let I went to the smoke, you, and you are the uh, one, uh, listen, I forgot, yeah. and you are the one who said that Allah, he leveled himself toward the heaven. When it was a smoke, he then do that. This was the next step. And then, and you are the one who agreed, and everybody is my witness. That the lamps yeah. was created after the trees and after the substance, correct? Yeah, yeah, okay. But the other one is say the opposite. The other one is saying that Allah He created totally total op opposite, uh, 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 you know, direction. 
it says that he perfected the heaven he built it and he put it yeah. in its order and then he made the dark and, and night which mean the day and the night we already we have stars and then after that after that and you are the one who said to me the word after that he spread mm -hmm. the earth so which means he start working in the earth after he made the day and the night yeah that's the total contradiction so how you can how you can answer uh, I, I, how I mean, you can I'll be honest with you that's your understanding and i'm fine this is not my understanding this is your understanding this is your understanding my friend this is your understanding i just made you say it from your own mouth you are the one who understand it this way this is not my understanding this is your understanding so please let us be honest it is you who agreed and now you agree again you say yeah 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 and then at the end after you say oh yeah yeah and you say to me this is your understanding I mean, this is not even fair. You know, I don't know how old are you, but we need to speak as an adult. This is your understanding. You are the one who said to me, and after that, he made the night dark. He made, he made dark night and day. And after that, he spread the earth. And after that, he put the, 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 uh, the, uh, the substance of the earth, the grass, the tree. So according to this, and after that, he made the cattle. And after that, yeah. he made the hills and the mountains. So as you see here, this is, is a messed up book. How in the world you are a person who follow Quran only and you accept to believe that this is not a book of corruption, but yet you say the hadith is corrupt. The only way for this to be from God if this book is corrupt. Well, I will not comment on something I have not seen with my own eyes. Ah, uh, did you see Muhammad? You see, you see now we are playing games. You are not commenting in something you did not see with your eyes, but a second ago you were sure that the Quran is a book of God and it's enough for you to get the complete understanding. And now we, when we made you give answers, you are the one who told me that, yes, I agree with this, that Allah created the substance of the earth and the mountains of the earth before he created the lamps. You said that. And then you are the one who said, well, I uh, yes, look like I agree with it. It's Allah here saying that He finished the sky and He made the the the, the lamps and the lights and etc. And then after that, and you are the one who did read for me the word after that, not me. He work in the earth. How that can happen? God will not make such a stupid mistake. I know what I created. Like imagine you asked me yesterday, what you how you build your house? I said to you, well, I have. Uh, the the columns first the basement and then I put the roof second day I say to you no I finished the roof there for first and then the basement and then I put it, it's totally the opposite so you know I choose for you this uh, verses because this is very easy and I'm sure you you know you know that's you this is this is this is a crazy you know it you know what in your heart you are just trying you know as a Muslim how I can escape escape this I came to this guy to talk to him that I'm Quran only I thought we can avoid the hadith and he can get Islam busted but here we go. No, I, I never came to bust you. To be no, no, no. I'm saying no. Escape. I, I no, no. No, I'm not saying you are coming I, I here to bust you. My friend, my friend, my friend. I, I say to you humbly, nobody can get me busted. I am the Christian prince who nobody can debate me about Islam. I'm not even debating you. I'm just chatting with you. You are no match yeah, for me. My, my friend, that, my friend, my friend. You just admitted, and everybody is my witness that Quran is not from God. Because there's no way God who will say your understanding of no no this is your understanding people they can play my friend you you are the one who explained the verse for me I went with you step by step you are the one who agreed about things in the verse what you agree upon is contradicting your own words you agreed about it not me remember let me let me let me let me go slowly you know maybe I'm going fast a little bit. You in chapter yeah, 41, no. you said, and I asked you, and people they can go and, and play the, the video again. You said that Allah He created the mountains and the substance and the trees first, and then He finished the He, he finished the sky and He created after that the lamps. I asked you three times about it, and you repeated, you say yes. Then we went to the other verse in chapter 79, and then you are the one who did read for me, and you are the one who said. And I remember very well and after that he spread the earth, but after that he spread the earth That means he finished the whole sky Before even he touched working in the earth the earth can be created no problem But after that he start working in the earth However in the other verse it was the opposite 
he finished working all what is ever in the earth he taught us what he did the first thing he did he placed mountain in the top of it in chapter 79 verse number uh, 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 here verse number 32 it says that he did put the the mountains at the end it's the opposite but in the in the other verse the first thing he did he placed the mountain in the first thing and then after that he made the substance here is the opposite here is the after he made the earth flat which is not <laughs> a very false a stupid thing to say from God because the earth is a flat he then he put the substance of the earth then he placed the mountain then he created the cattle so according to chapter this chapter in the front of us 79 the last thing is created is the cattle according to the other one the first thing Allah he created for the earth and the top of the earth was the mountain then I mean it's clear I can see he created the mountains first and then the cattle the verse 79 is in order it's uh, that's what it says oh that is wrong you see it's it's contradiction total contradiction again you know I'm just I think confused right. over there okay uh, so you are understand. confused no problem I understand I never saw a Muslim is not confused so don't be sorry for yourself you are not the first not the last now let me ask you a very simple yeah. question about your religion uh, you know I think people they got they got the idea that this book is not trustworthy do you think a prophet of God he will make verses for him for the sake excuse my language I'm not being rude I'm not a, I'm not a street person I'm speaking religion he will yeah. make verses for the sake of his benefit especially when it's about sex well CP I have never heard of such verses what do you mean that speak of sex really yeah okay you never heard that the prophet he have a chapter speaking about him that Allah he made lawful for you your cousin and your the, the daughter of your cousin and the daughter of your auntie well, and the daughter etc it's a context to that verse that you can marry them no okay no problem no problem no problem no problem no, 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 no problem no problem, no, marry. no problem no problem here it says in arad an nabiyu an yastankihaha khalisatan laka min dun al mu'minin what does that mean chapter 33 verse Which number 50 verse is that again chapter 33 verse number 50 3350 we have made lawful for you your wives to whom you have given their due compensation and those your right hand possesses from what Allah has returned to you mm -hmm. and the daughters of your parental uncles and the daughters of your parental aunts L lawful means you can marry them okay I, i'm not i'm not saying you see the word but it doesn't say uh lawful actually it says yes thank you yes thank you and the word yanka literally mean to f her now to prove that he is going to f all those women not to marry them it says <laughs> it says it says yes thank you listen listen my friend you know you know a little arabic and that will help me actually uh, uh in, in the mission we are doing yeah it says here yeah it's lawful for you this is the word lawful okay yeah your wives but they are already his wives he will not marry again right yeah okay wives are just lawful thank you very you. much so this is not about marriage because you cannot marry your wife again so here is counting I'm for him about listen listen no no no, no. Listen, listen listen him. listen listen he is counting for him who is lawful not yeah. he's not speaking about marrying because look it says your wives and those who you pay them are your wages and those who you own them slaves you can have sex with them too this is not yes. marriage <laughs> right. yeah slaves are lawful for you <laughs> is what he got from the booty and then he count and the cousins of your uncle, of your, your your male uncle, and the uh, your female, uh, your female well, auntie. Well, auntie. Okay, okay. but now he continues saying, read carefully, read carefully. Wa imra'a mu'mina in wahabat nafsaha lin nabi in arad an nabiyu an yastankihaha. Explain to us what is that? And any believing women, she offer herself to the prophet if the prophet he want to f her. Only a privilege for you 
out of all the believers this is a privilege only for the prophet yes i do agree with you why? this was a privilege given if any woman wants to marry not uh, okay uh, why okay why why hold on hold on hold on hold on, hold on, hold on. let us say for the sake of argument why muhammad god he sent him a verse saying any woman she can marry as you said not if the prophet and this is a privilege only for muhammad why yeah why well if you read uh, the verse uh, same chapter 33 52 if you you know just come a little down it, mm -hmm. it says not lawful for you or any additional woman after this allah has all also forbidden forbidden him after that forbidden him from what forbidden uh, him from marrying what he already had that said he no it doesn't it doesn't that. say it doesn't say marry it says extra change <laughs> well exchange mean uh, divorcing and, no my friend uh, my friend no you see look carefully with me you just said that Allah he said to Muhammad any woman she can offer herself to the Prophet and this is a privilege for the Prophet but Muhammad here is saying to you that nobody can exchange his women which mean nobody is going to take him from you cannot marry the wife of Muhammad do you agree yes I agree okay why 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 I cannot marry as an let's say Muhammad he passed away. I am a Muslim. Like mothers of the believers. So why Muhammad he want to marry the mother of Jesus? Where does it say that? Ah, you, I forgot you. You are you don't believe in the hadith. But hold on. Yeah. Hold on. So those who you Muhammad marry, nobody after you can touch them. What is the logic of that? Because they are like mothers to the believers. Who are mothers? They are not my mothers, my friend. She is a woman. She is not even my cousin. What make her a mother for the believer? Simply, Muhammad is very jealous That's man. No, no, no. You have to be honest here. This man, he want to own those women. Aisha, she was a child when Muhammad he passed away. Why she cannot marry a woman? Well, she there, there's, there's no Aisha. Aisha never existed. It's just uh, you know some personification of uh, Arabs. Oh, Aisha. No Aisha. Aisha never exists. Okay, how you know Muhammad yeah. is exist? Well, there's no mention of her in the Quran. Okay, what is the name? What is the name of what is the name of what is the real name of Muhammad? Well, uh, his name was Muhammad. That's it. No, the Quran says Ahmad too. Yeah, Ahmad too, but that I believe is in uh, Hebrew, uh, you know, ah, context because in Hebrew. What what what, what Muhammad mean? Muhammad means the root word is ham, so it means praised one. The praised one. Does that mean he is God? If he is the praised one, who is praised no, to? No, he's praised for his duty. Who is the praised, praised one? No, 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 no. He, uh, no, no, no. He is the praised. He is the praised one. He is the one you praise. Muhammad is the one, the praised one. You are the one who said that. So if Muhammad is the praised one, who is praised to? No, Muhammad is praised by Allah. He's not praised by Allah. Allah. Is praising Muhammad? Yes, praised him for his honesty. Who is Allah God? Is good okay, hold on, hold on, hold on. Who, who is so God here? Himself. Allah, he praised Muhammad. You just said, everybody heard you, that according to you, you believe that Allah, he praised Muhammad. I thought the prophet, he should praise God, not God praised the prophet. Well, he was praised for his uh, delivery of the message, how honest he was. How honest in which way? Okay, let me ask Delivering you. The okay, I want you to go to chapter of At-Tahreem. Let us see if Muhammad was honest. Yep, let's see. In the chapter of the Tahreem, verse number one, Allah, he said to him, why you are forbidding what is not lawful for you? Where is the honesty? Chapter 61, 66, verse number one. All right, just a second. Yeah, why was he forbidding? So he was not forbidding lawfully, right? It was not a lawful for just forbidding something to satisfy his wife. Uh huh. But this means he is not lawful. He is not to be praised because he do things because of the connection. Be okay, let me ask you. Let me ask you. If I am, if I am a president, if I am a president, let's listen for it. If I am a president or a king, and my wife she asked me to make a law, and I am a prophet in the same time, just to make my wife happy, I make a law. Does that mean I'm a good king? Well, that's his personal affair. That's the person that's personal between him and his wife. It what, has uh, this is not between him and between his wife, my friend. Allah is involved here. Don't you see Allah is upset? Don't you see Allah is upset? Allah is saying to him, not his wife, why you are forbidding things I made lawful for you?
Is that correct? Yes, he okay. Up your so, life. so you just say that Allah is unhappy with Muhammad because of his action here. Well, it, it doesn't mean Allah is unhappy. Allah does not want. So why he is saying to him, why you are forbidden? What do you mean he is unhappy? If I say to you, why you are forbidden what I made lawful for you? To make your wife happy. That mean I am not unhappy? I'll just, you know, might agree with you with on this one. Because okay. Muhammad was a human Then let me ask you. Mistake. Let me, who made a mistake? So let me ask you then. Yeah. This verse is about what? This is something about his personal affair or something. What he was doing? Well, that's his personal uh, affair. Uh, it's about why the personal affair. Okay, now the personal affair. You see, this is not personal no more because now this is in the Quran. Allah Himself is speaking of it, and now you, as a one of a billion Muslim, reading it and try to understand. So it's not personal affair no more. So we need to know what is happening, why, and what Muhammad he forbid. It's not lawful for him to forbid. Do you know? Well, the verse doesn't say so. So what the it's point of this verse? So, so, so what the so what the point of a verse? It doesn't say what is the purpose of it. How we will no, know no, now? No. Put mutashabi verses in the Quran deliberately. You see, this is a crazy, my friend. You are saying to me, I have a book. Nobody understand what it's mean, but I'm going to explain it to you. No, no, you so can't really then, explain then, unless you take the Sunni understanding. I know what. Ah, uh, so no, no, no. Explain to me then. Don't tell me. Don't tell me. Don't tell me. The Quran is a clear book. The Quran says in many verses that this is a clear book. So how it's a clear book? But now a simple verse. I'm asking you. Quran what was? Also say, that none can what, touch it what is that? What Quran. does that mean? Okay, let me ask you a question then. What mutaharun mean? It means purified, clean people. Oh, uh, is, Muhammad, is, Mu is Muhammad is Muhammad is clean? Is Muhammad is Muhammad clean? Yes, of course. How you know? Allah kept on purifying him. Where? Well, he was a messenger of Allah. So, obviously, messenger of Allah. I just showed you, messenger of Allah. He is busy having sex with women, saying to saying to women, any woman she want to give herself to me, I'm ready here for you. What kind of a message that's of God is God? The understanding it's about the marriage. It depends on how you read the Quran. My friend, the can Quran you name for me one woman? She okay? Can you can you name for me any woman she offer herself to the Prophet? She became his wife. From those women, name well, for it's me not, one. It's not mentioned in the Quran. So, so what? Uh, how? So why you are saying Allah purify him? This guy obviously he's taking advantage of himself being a prophet, saying to the Muslim women, "Hey, any woman she want to offer herself for me." Come to my bed. Well, already he have many wives. Why he need to do that? The, the Muslim women, they don't have men to sleep with them. So Muhammad is doing the rooster job. Why I need to say, don't, don't give me a reason. No, no, my friend, my friend, my friend, my friend. What marriages? I mean, the guy, he have 13 wives already. What marriages? He's not short of women. And why Muhammad have 13 wives, but the, but the, but the rest of Muslims can have only four? Why the privilege of your prophet is about sex and money? If I am a Muslim, listen. Allah, Allah can do whatever He wills. Yeah, Allah what, can do. How what, we know that this is not the, the will of Muhammad? Obviously, this is the will of Muhammad, not the will of Allah. Because no, that, that's your understanding. And no, then, no, 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 no. We so no. It's a proven easy. It's, it's a proven no. easy. When you make a privilege law for you, it means you are creating the law. Muhammad is not above mankind. He is supposedly a prophet and a servant of God. Not someone well, taking advantage of the vagina of women. Him. I mean, that's fine. What is Allah selected him to to sleep with the with, with, with the women? Is that his job? Is that his? Is it enough for him to have thirteen wives? Why he need a verse to say is any woman she can she can open her legs for him? What is the point of this? And what Muhammad he can accomplish with this? And what the Muslims win from this? And why it's a privilege for Muhammad? What about we say any Muslim that's woman she want to offer herself to a Muslim? It's your understanding because it's not my understanding. Been. I'm asking you. I'm asking you. I'm not, it's not my understanding. I'm asking you. If I say now we have in this uh, in in this uh, YouTube like let us say uh, 500 people listening to me, maybe 250 of them they are women. What do you think if a Christian prince says any women she want a God he told me any women she want to offer herself to me to sleep with me? This is a privilege from God only to me. So don't you ask why? Man. Is the right word, my friend. He have thirteen it. wives already. He have thirteen wives already. Why he need to I make and why and why you. Allah? You listen know. and listen. Why Allah is why Allah is concerning about women offering himself to the Prophet? What is the business here? 
this is is, is Islam about about worshiping Allah or is about satisfying the, the, the desire of the penis of Muhammad I have a small question for you if you can allow me sure go ahead. go ahead according to your Arabic knowledge mm. uh, first of all let me say something that <laughs> you have to know how to read the Quran I mean, uh -huh. it's not like just any other ordinary book. I'll ask you a simple question. Okay, According teach me. Your teach me, teach me how to read the what Quran. What does zakat mean? What is that? Atuwa zakat. Atuwa zakat? Akimus salad wa atuwa zakat. The you, Quran you, says. Okay, you will, you know, let me tell you what the zakat mean. Depend what you are paying no. to who. At the end of the day, the zakat is something you pay to Muhammad. Is that correct? No, what is that literal translation of the word zakat and what is the first of all word? the word zakat is not an Arabic word This is a Hebrew word Muhammad. He stole it from there the Christians in their Bible It have you have a duty to pay 10% of your income to the church Muhammad he wanted to copy the Christian and the Jews. So he put that word in his book. However, Muhammad he he abuse abuse what is called charity to make it for his benefit again as an example if you want to see the prophet of islam is it true that you have to pay him before you see him well it's not a must duty what it's a must that you you don't really necessarily have to pay him even if you don't pay that's fine to see the prophet okay hold on i am not a prophet i don't claim even to be a good guy i am here for free you are talking to me you don't pay me people listening they are not paying me. So who is now who is the prophet of God and why I have to pay him in order to pay to, oh, to see I him? I have asked you a simple question. What does Zakat I answered you? Are you are you deaf, my friend? I told you this is a charity you have to pay starting from the Bible word. This is a, a but you must you Muslims yourself you do not know what the zakat. What is the percentage of zakat? Do you know? Well, just a second, let me. What is the percentage? You are the one who opened the topic. What is the percentage of zakat? There is the percentage. Allah says, pay khair, pay the best you can. No, no, no. I mean, no. let me get the. Okay, okay, okay. Hold on, hold on, hold on. It's in front of me. Don't worry, don't worry. But let me show you how Muhammad he took the charity for his pocket in chapter 58, verse number 12. Can you read for me and translate? Which one? Chapter 58, verse number 12. 58, 12. Okay. Oh, you who have believed when you privately consult the messenger, present before him your consultation, a charity. Hmm. The Arabic word is sadaka, not zakat. Yeah, I understand. So, what does that mean? Well, they're totally different things. No. It's the same at the end everything is going to the pocket of the prophet everything everything exactly. okay when you pay the cat when you pay the cat in the time of muhammad who is the one who get the money well uh, then it also said this is better for you and pure but if my friend my friend answer the question me, i've answered the question answer the question you do, do you say okay listen pay. what najwakum mean what you have to provide najwakum what does that mean what private you, consultation you get okay say. so you, you is, is this verse saying that you have to pay the prophet before you do private consultation with him the verse also says if you don't have allah is a ghafoor rahim allah is merciful forgiving forgiving for what is that a sin not to pay the prophet uh, well that's how he said uh, so yeah, yeah because you are making it a sin it, it, will, it will make the muslim feel guilty okay you know what but if you don't have <laughs> allah for my allah forgive you that's me it's a sin so why this prophet who is taking the fifth from every attack? The Quran says, Al Khumsulillahi or Rasuli. He have already the fifth from every attack. And, Allah alayhi, and not only that, he have listen, prophet. listen, he have the best of the booty. Is that correct? I can show you the verses one by one. No, no, that, it, that's not correct. I know you're speaking of Surah Al Hashir. What what not correct? What is not correct? What? Uh, that he kept all the booty, he donated everything. No, he don't get all the booty, he take a fifth of the booty, yes or no. Yes, he okay. did. Why he get the fifth of the booty? Because he donated that stuff as well in the way of what Allah. do you mean he donated? This is for him. If he want to donate, he give it to the Muslims, all of it. This is only for him. This is how he survived on charity, on sadaqa. He was well, not uh, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. So you are saying to me, Muhammad to survive, he have to get the fifth of the booty. Let us make a small calculation. The Muslims yeah. attack the Jews. And they stole from the Jews, let us say, a one million dollar. Yes. And Muhammad have an army, let us say, for the sake of argument, 10,000 soldiers. 
Now we have one million dollar, and we are going to divide the one million. All right, I'm going to do it. Use my calculation to get accurate numbers. Uh, we will divide it to five. Yeah, Muhammad, he will get uh, two hundred thousand dollar from the million. Correct. Yeah, and then we have what? We have eight hundred thousand yeah. dollar will be divided in ten thousand soldier. Yeah. The total is every soldier will get eight dollars, yeah. and Muhammad alone will get two hundred two million dollars. And, you, the and you are telling me, hold on, hold on, you, hold on, hold on. You are telling me a Muslim he can survive with eight dollars, but yet Muhammad he need two million dollars to survive. Well. Uh... First of all, it was not that much. And regarding what? What that much? Muhammad we are just given. we are just doing the Quran, my friend. We made a number. Yes. We made a number. Yes. We made a number. Hold on. What do you mean that not not much? This is what the number says. The fifth to Muhammad. The fifth to Muhammad. Very simple. So if we have a million and we have ten thousand soldiers and we have Muhammad will take the fifth. The number is very easy to to get. So this is not this isn't how much this is how it is. So how Muhammad can survive with two? We need he need two million dollars to survive, and he is the humble man. He is the one who don't care for money. He is the nice. So Allah explained in the top of that. Does. Listen, listen, listen. In the top of that, he is asking the Muslims before you see him, you have to pay him. This is additional now. The fifth is from the booty. Here is not the booty. Here is he's forcing the Muslims. If you want to see me in a private consultation, you have to be rich. However, if you are poor, may Allah forgive you. It's like a sin. What kind of prophet this prophet is? Let me ask you a question. Did Jesus collect money from people to talk to them? Well, since it's not mentioned in the Quran, so I will not. Okay. Comment. Why? Why the Quran did not say Moses collected money to do private service? Jesus collected money to do private service. Uh, Adam, Abraham. Why only Muhammad? He is collecting money to just to speak to people. Why? Well, if you speak of Moses, Moses was also asking for food and stuff. For, for food for who? Hmm? For who? Uh, asking people of the city. For food for, and drinks for, for, and stuff. For, for what? So, for who? That's in the Quran when he went with that guy Al Khitar. I don't know what his name. My is. friend, my friend. Th thank you, thank you for mentioning this story. Hold on, guys. This guy, Mr. Fuad, is a treasure for Islam. He is the best of all of them. He is the one. He is leading the conversation. Let us go there. So now, as long as you mentioned the story of Al Khitar, do you really believe in the Khitar story? Yes, I do truly believe in it. Okay, what the story of Al Khitar is about? Well, uh, Moses actually wanted to see meet the true worshipper of God, the true man of God, mm -hmm. who okay. was actually given judgment. Uh -huh. And he met one. Who is that one? Well, the name is not really mentioned who, he's really, who he really is. So how you mention the word Al-Khadr if you don't believe in the Hadith? Uh, it just says somehow and people think that his name was Al-Khadr. No, no, no. So you see, you, see, you, just, you, just, you just made a mistake, a horrible mistake. You are a person who don't believe in the Hadith. How you know that this is Al-Khadr? And his that name is Al-Khadr. For the sake of conversation. No, this is not the sake of a conversation. When you say to me his name is Al-Khadr, it means you are sure. And this is the name you agreed upon. No, I'm not sure. No. So you are no, not sure. Not really. Okay, guys, yeah, he is not sure. sure. By no. my witness, he is not sure. Okay, we solved the problem, so he is not sure. Now let us go. So Moses, he wanted to meet someone. He is what? Who actually possess sound judgment? Sound judgment. What does that mean? I mean, he he can judge. Judge what? Whom to kill, whom maybe not to kill, what to do, what not right. to do. Okay, in the story there, it says that the Mo Moses, he have with him a fish. Do you know the story of the fish? No, that's not a chronic story, I believe. Really? Are you sure? Yeah. You, you are sure? 
No, no. Uh, he actually forgot his fish or something. I know that story. Oh, yeah. okay. So what, what is the story of that fish? Well, uh, I don't really recall that one. Mm. To be honest with you. Okay. Do you so? But do you believe in this story? Yeah, I do. Okay. Maybe you can mention and I. All right. Recall. Is it true that this story, after it was dead, became alive? Maybe it never died. No, Allah. He told him to take a fish with him in the basket. Yeah. This fish is going to stay alive in the basket, going all the way from 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 Israel all the way to Bahrain. Well, it could be a lung fish or something. They do actually survive. Oh, okay. I see. It, maybe it's a golden fish, my friend. No problem. Okay. So now Musa, he went to meet that guy who can make judgment. Did he meet him? Uh, yeah. Okay. How he met him? Well, uh, I'm not sure. I'll have to go through the story again. Well, you can go to the story right now. You know, go to chapter yeah, 18. Yeah, sure. Go to chapter 18 and read for me from verse number, uh, if you want, verse number maybe 61. 61. Or verse number 60 for better understanding. But when they reached the junction between them, they forgot their fish and, took, and it took <laughs> its course into the sea, slipping away. Hmm. So when they had passed beyond it, Moses said to his boy, bring us our morning meal. We have certainly suffered in this, our journey fatigue. Hmm. He said, did you see when we reti uh, retired to the rock? Indeed, I forgot there the fish hmm. and none made me forgot it except Satan. Hmm. And I should mention it. And it took its course into the sea amazingly. Hmm. So what, what does that mean? What does that mean, Mr. Quran only? What do you understand from this? Well, the fish went back to the sea. Look, you see, don't you agree with me that this is the most stupid story? What does and that in mean? The word, the Arabic word no, 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 my friend, my friend, my friend. No, 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 my, my friend, my friend. What I learned from... from so, of God listen, 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 Fahad. What I learned from this, I mean, when God, he speak to me, he teach me something. A guy, he go and he took with him a fish and now the fish is missing. What we learn from this? That Allah can do anything. Allah can do what, what do you mean? Can. I, I, I can miss my fish too. What does this have to do with Allah? I miss my fish in the other day. In the other day, I have two sardines with me. I opened them. I went to the kitchen to get the, the to, to get the bread. I came back. I found the, the sardine is missing. Why? Because a cat jumped in and ate them. This is Allah can do everything. What does this have to do with this? What we learn from this story? Nothing. What is this? What is that? What does that mean? A guy, his name is Musa. He went yeah. in a trip. He had a fish with him, and now the fish is lost. So, what do you understand yeah. from this? I'm asking you. You are the Muslim. I'm the Christian. You are the Quran only. Explain to me. What does that mean? The fish went back to the sea. Okay, and what does that mean? That means... Um, <laughs> I mean, that's just... A fact that happened. I mean, that's I mean, my friend, what do you mean? Really fact, bad. it happened. Allah is supposedly telling us the story about the wisdom, an amazing story. This is a story is not even good for a cartoon. What do you mean, no, Moses? Allah can find, Allah can help the fish go back to the sea. Really? It doesn't yeah. say that. It says the shaitan he did that. Shaitan made him forget. Okay, who fish. is the one who moved the fish? Pardon? Who is the one who made the fish the fish go to the sea? Could be Allah. Why? Well, I don't know. But Maybe this is the, a, there's a lesson. But, but this that. is their lunch. What? What is? What the purpose of the story? I don't know what, what the purpose of this was? So says, why you are saying to I'm me, I am, I am a Quran only? You see, my friend Anton, now you fail to answer about anything. Each time I ask you something, I said, well, I don't know. You know, Allah saying that I don't know. So you are Quran only, but the Quran. I, I, I don't want. I'm not. I'm not being rude, insulting you. Don't take yeah. it this way. It, it, Quran for me is a stupid book because the purpose of a story is to tell me something, teach me something. So what we learn from this now? Nothing. Well, that's how he met that okay. guy. What is the duty of this fish? Listen, listen, mean. listen. If I make if I make a story for you, everything should be in the story have a reason to yeah. put it in the display. Correct. So now, what what is this fish is about? Well, this fish, uh, I mean, it was something weird that happened. He, uh, even Moses said in the end, Ajaba. 
Wow. Which means weird. I mean, even Moses was amazed that you know this is just weird. I mean, guys, Moses weird. was amazed. Moses was amazed. <laughs> All right, listen. So Moses was amazed because the fish is missing. He was not angry because now he had no lunch. Well, how could he be angry? Because, and how he uh, know? Uh, how he fact, know? Listen, listen. Muslim. How Moses know that the fish went in the sea? They they did they they, they, they they lost the sea. They didn't they, they lost the fish. They did not see the fish. How do you know it went to the sea? Well, the sea is the only place he could think of. So. What do you mean only thing is close? Maybe the cat stole the fish. The 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 thing you you, you thought of is the last thing should be because the fish is dead. He have it with him in the basket. Read the chapter from the beginning. So he had this fifth. He told him to take a fish with him, and you don't tell me that Moses. Two, th three th uh, th thousand years ago, he he carry a fish with him, and the fish stay alive, going all the way in the desert, mm. and they go all the way to Bahrain, and then the fish is missing, and you assume, and the Quran says that the fish went in the sea. Well, how we know that the the fish supposed the Quran to stay? does not say, but the Moses say what that the fish went back to the sea. No, the whole story is reported by Allah, my friend. Yes, but these are the words of Moses. Could be true. Could so, be not so be Allah true. is reporting stupid words of Moses. Moses was wrong. Well, Moses was a human. He could make mistakes. So why Allah is saying to us what Moses said for no reason? What is what we learn from this? He did not correct him. He didn't say Moses was wrong. He didn't say anything. He just told us what Moses said. Okay. So what is the point? Well, you have to read the whole story first. When he we met did read the whole guy, story. We did read the whole and story. Moses was. Out of patience as well, so Moses was not really, you know, a perfect guy. You would say. But what the purpose of the fish? I'm trying to understand well, why why the fish. Why, why why the fish? Was, okay, uh, hold on, hold on. You see, as you see, thought, you know, as you see, as see. you see, the fish was a reason for Moses to go back. Right. Okay. How important this fish to come back? Why he went back because of the fish is missing? What happened? Uh, what happened and mm. they found servant uh, well they just went back uh, why why and why that's where the man why they went back yeah they went back and they why? found the why 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 from uh, our what? why why we had given mercy from us okay why they went back uh to look for the fish amazingly a guy is crossing the continent in the, in asia and now he will go back to look for the fish. How in the world you are a man, a growing man, you believe in this? Fish? So you are saying to me, I'm driving all the way from California, no, all the way to New York. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. My friend, my friend, Fuad, my friend, Fuad. Hold on, hold on. Hold on. I am driving from California all the way to New York. Will take yeah. about two days or three days driving. Then yeah. in the middle of the way, I lost my fish. Do you think really I will go back from New York all the way to Wyoming to find the fish? I mean, why the fish is important? Is that a golden fish? I mean, the, those days were different. That was all he had to What eat. do you mean all he, he, all he had? No, he would die before he find it, my friend. If he, if this is all what he have, he is be, will be stupid to go back because it's better to find other food to eat. Are you telling me that two men, they will live the whole journey eating yeah, one fish? There was nothing where he was. My friend, my friend, my friend. Are you telling me? Are you, tell, are you telling me that those two men, they have nothing to eat all their journey except this fish? So what? They, how they will survive? Fish only? The one fish? Uh, I don't know which fish it was. Do you know how far? Do you know how far e Egypt or Israel from Bahrain? You have to cross it's all the way. You have to cross. Listen, you, you have to cross Syria. You have to cross Syria all the way to Iraq, and then all the way you cross to you cross all the way to Bahrain. So, so, so you have to cross at least at least maybe a, a thousand five uh, five hundred kilometers. And they have with them one fish. Yeah, he could might not be far away from sea or something. I mean, he could not be very far from the sea. So if that's if he is close to the sea, why he is carrying with him a fish all the way from where he came from? Because Allah told him to take with him a fish. Well, it doesn't say the fish went back to the same sea he got it from. <laughs> there could be a sea nearby. It doesn't matter. And you know how he know the fish went there? You don't know why he carried the fish. We do not know. And 
what is the point of this fish we do not know why the fish escape we do not know why they come back to get the fish you do not know as allah decreed him to uh meet the other servant of allah that well, okay what, what, what does that mean what does that mean what does that mean he will meet a girl other guy but what if why the fish is important in story because the fish left the footprint that's where the fish went. If, if i thought the fish went in the sea the fish left footprint in the sea well uh he met him on his on his way you know uh Who? following the fish no, no, no. you said him. you said they follow the footprint of the fish yeah okay how the fish have you ever heard of a fish have footprint well it's a translation that's are important. you saying are you saying that the fish was walking in the desert <laughs> no so what do you mean footprint of the fish well, that's what the translation says. It doesn't matter. I'm, I'm not asking you about the translation. I'm not asking you. I'm talking to you. You are the Muslim. I don't care. What, I don't need. I do not need. My friend, my friend, my friend. I do not need the translation. The I speak. I speak Arabic. Arabic is my first language. I don't need a yeah. translation. Don't tell me the translation says so. You, you say so. You just. I asked you. Are you saying that the fish have foot footprint? You said yes. So you are saying that Musa he lost his fish. And the fish was walking down a street, la 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 la. And then Moses, he said to his 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 servant, "Let us follow the footstep of the fish." I mean, even a cartoon they don't have, man. Well, see, even in cartoon, foot in the Arabic. Don't tell me it's you who telling me. You, you. I asked you. You answered me. I, I'm not. I'm, I'm not explaining the Quran for you. You are the one explain to me. You are the one who repeated more than twice that this is the footsteps of the fish. I want to know how in the world you, as a growing man, believe that the fish walking in the street and have footsteps. Do the fish even have a, a, a foot? The Arabic word. My friend. My friend. Do is... do the fish have foot? No, the fish don't have. So foot how you foot. say how you say the footstep of the fish? And it's the translator that got me. It doesn't there. matter. I can I mean, I, come on, guys. I don't know what's wrong with them. And I was using the same word just for the sake of understanding. All right. Let, know, let, all us, let, a, let us let us move on. on. Let us move on. Finally, Moses says he met with the prophet Al Khadr. All yeah. right. Okay. And what Moses learned from this prophet? <laughs> that he had the judgment. Well, God has given him knowledge and judgment. Mm. But as you see there, if you go to verse number 74, this Khadr, he met a little boy and he slaughtered him. Yeah, he slaughtered him. Why? Because he was a kafir and he was burdened on his parents. If, so if, 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 he if, actually if. did his... If, if, if. Oh, hold on, hold on. <clears throat> Guys, did you hear this? I said to him, he slaughtered a boy. He said... He slaughtered him because he's a kafir. So you are saying to me, you as a Muslim, if you are a wise and perfect judge, if you see a boy who is not a Muslim, you will slaughter him. Well, the verse also says he was a burden on his parents. He's a boy, my friend. Give them what, something better it than it what doesn't they say he is burden. Where it says that, show me. If you show me that, I'm going to commit suicide. Uh, let me just go to that verse. Yeah, uh, go. I mean, a number would be helpful if you can. Yeah, show me where it says burden in his in you know in his family in his parents. I want to see that. Yeah, just a second. As, mm. as for the boy, mm -hmm. his parents were believers, <laughs> and we feared that he would overburden them. Mm. So we feared. So feet. we feared. It yes. is. It is something he did not do. We feared. He was not a good boy. He did not do anything yet. It says, "Are we feared?" He might have done something. Uh, my my friend, my friend, it says it clear that he, we feared. He did nothing. Even Moses says to him, "Innocent soul." He is an innocent soul. He is just little child. So he did nothing <laughs> wrong yet. He was and a kafir. So what if he's a kafir? You kill him? You kill a boy just because he's another Muslim? He was overburdening. What over, but he did not do anything. It says we fear, we fear he would do something. He did not do anything yet. But he had knowledge, so he was right. If what do you mean he's right? Okay, let me ask you a question. So this this boy, he did not do anything yet. Did he do crime? Did he do? Did he do any crime? Based on the Quran, did he do anything? 
the Quran speaks of that he was a kafir and that's it. Well, well, actually, you know what? Time. My friend, with my respect to you, I challenge you to show me that he is a kafir. It says that. What What is the last words, uh, word in this 1880? It says uh, regarding the child, his father, his, his his parents, or the boy, his his parents, they were a believer, and we feared that he will cause them problem of unjust and will become a kafir. So he did not do anything. Unjust. Yeah. Transgression. Yeah, but he did not do anything. Uh, to for Do you know what Khashayna? Do you know what Khashayna? It's mean. He is afraid that he will in the future. So he did not no, means afraid, but the word is Togiana that means transgression. Oh, that doesn't matter. So what he would do in the so you kill a person before he do it? Well, he had sound judgment. What do you mean judgment? Are you are you saying to me to in Islam you kill a person before he commit a crime? No, we don't have that judgment. No, no one else can do that. He he was special. Eesh. So what Moses will well, learn from this? So what the what the wisdom of Moses he learned that because this is all one guy. Why, why this guy he know that he's God? No, Mo Mo Moses actually learned that there are people more. What he learned? What he learned? He learned, he learned nothing. He learned nothing. Actually, Moses he was kicked out of the class. If you read the rest, you will see that Al Khadr he says to him, "Get lost, man. Go back home." He fired him from the school. He fired him. Mo Okay, so now Musa is still stupid and Al Khadr is smart. What is the wisdom of killing a boy before he commit a crime? Well, Al Khadr knew. What? He knew what that why? Who is he to knew? What do you mean he knew? And this is against this justice. You know, isn't it your God who says that every soul should pay for its sin? Yeah, he paid okay. for it. So where is the sin? The guy did not do a sin yet. You make him pay. For he killed nobody. Let us say, let us say, for the sake of well, argument, listen, listen, let us judgment. say, let us say he will be a bad person when he go, go after that he became a, a bad person. You kill him then, but you don't kill a child. And if this is a true, that means all the bad children should be killed before they are growing. Anyone who will leave Islam should be killed before he leave Islam. This is what well, the verse is saying. Is not no, Al -Khidr. no, Al Khadr is the one who did that, and you said you confirm that Allah is the one who taught him that, right? Yes, Allah so, is the one. So who you are saying, it. so you are saying, your God Allah, He ordered the good Muslim like Al Khadr to slaughter little children who they are children of believers just because they might leave Islam when they grow. Well, uh, that's uh, Allah deciding stuff. Who am I to say something? What, what power do I have? Uh, you are just a, a, a person who have no power, but you don't understand that this is against logic and this is very stupid and it's a crime because oh, I think it, that was intelligent. I okay, think that was okay. Let, let me ask you, do you agree with killing apostate then? No, 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 I don't agree. So, why are you agreeing no. with Musa's? Uh, uh, why are you agreeing with Al Khadr killing the child? He for... was a special person, he had knowledge. Even Moses, if, a person like Moses, if, uh, if, Kalimullah, I think if, he is. If, 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 Even if, 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 Moses if. did not possess that knowledge. Okay, okay. Well, as long as this is the case, if we go to Quran, let us say, hmm. actually, I like this chapter we are reading from. It's very fun. But let us. Uh, um, Let us go to the different verse. <clears throat> All right. If we go to chapter 9, verse number 73-74, what this chapter is speaking about? <coughs> o prophet, fight against the disbeliever and the hypocrites and be harsh upon them and their refuge is hell and wretched is the destination. Hmm. They swear by Allah that they did not say anything against a prophet while they had said the words of disbelief hmm. and believe disbelieved after their uh, Islam and plan that which they were not to attain and they were not uh, resentful except that Allah and his messenger has enriched them of his bounty. Mm. So if they repent, it is better for them. If they turn away, Allah will punish them with a painful punishment in this world and the hereafter. 
and All right. there will not be for them on our penny so protector. Give me, give me the, yeah, give me the solution of this. What the chapter is talking about? What do you, what do you understand based on your Quran it's only? It's Muslims that uh, if they leave Islam, their affair is with Allah. Allah will punish them in both worlds. This is what it says. Allah will punish them, or it says we should kill them. Um. I don't see, you know, anything that I we should kill them. What do you mean you don't see? When does it say we should kill them? Well, it says if you read verse number seventy-three, it says to go and fight the unbelievers and the hypocrites. So who is the unbelievers and who is the hypocrites? Who well, uh, fight against the disbelievers. It says already this believer. It says, it says, oh, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. The word is not okay. or something. It says, no, it says, you know, you see, the, the Muslim, when they translate, uh, they always uh, uh, fabricate, and the translation is false. This is why you yourself, you don't want to accept any translation. I understand. Yeah. Okay. So uh, uh, it says, Ya ayyuha nabi jahid al kuffara wal munafiqin. Do jihad. Do jihad. Al Kuffar wal Munafiqeen. Who is the yeah. Kuffar and who is Al Munafiqeen? Well, uh, the people of Makkah, they were actually Kuffar, and the okay. Munafiqeen were among them pretending to be Muslims. Uh -huh. So here, the Muslims, they say to us that there is nowhere in the Quran it says kill apostate. But this verse. No, saying, it, it doesn't say anywhere kill an apostate. You just said. Do jihad against the kuffar and those who claim to be Muslims. Jihad means strive against them. The word is not katilu. My again. friend, my friend. No, that it says no, no, no. It says wa aghlid, wa aghlid, wa aghlid, which means be harsh on the punishment on them. Be harsh. Jihad means to kill them. And then he says, listen, listen, listen. To and, and then. The word, I would have used precise word cartel. Okay, let me ask word. you a question. Where do you get that the word jihad mean meaning? Where the word jihad meaning coming from? What the word jihad meaning? Jihad means strive. What does that strive mean? Striving against some propaganda. How you strive? In this case, we have Stri kuffar. Strive. Okay. Says, how you your prophet? Quran. How your prophet strive against the people of Mecca? What he did? By preaching the Quran. Huh? By preaching the Quran, so he did not fight them. He did not um, launch an attack That's a on them. Story. When he fought them, Allah said, mm. so fight them." Did he fight them or not? He did fight them. Okay, he, so where is the strife against them? What strife? Well, you said this is strife. Is the preaching of the Quran, the reciting of the my, Quran? My friend, my friend, I want you to be honest with me. Do you really believe in what you just said? That the word jihad does not mean go and fight them. No, I don't believe that. But you can say, in a sense, that. Okay. But, uh, so in this way, so he did fight that. them and he killed them. And you just confirm in the other verse that the Prophet uh, Khudr, Al Khudr, he killed the child because he's going to be a kafir. So you Muslims allowed, if you have knowledge that a child, he is going to be a kafir when he grow up, no, you are allowed to slaughter him. Knowledge that guy was a special guy. What is special? This is a rule. Of, this is a rule of God. God. You got no, no, no. He is, hold on, hold on. Allah, He sent Musa to learn from Al Khadr. So Al Khadr is a teacher for the Muslims, an example. And Al Khadr, when he killed the child, he was not wrong. Do you agree? Al Khadr is an unknown personality. He just wanted to meet us. It doesn't Muslim matter. This is not the question. This is the, this is not the question. Al Khadr, he killed the child just because he feared when he grew up he will he will be a kafir and you agreed with that so now al khadr was right according to you he did the right thing you did not say i i know i condemn what he did no you said i agree with it so now all what you need to kill children is to have the knowledge of al khadr then you will well, kill every child the next goliath or something so he saved people who save who he saved the people, his parents as well, as well as the people that boy could have become. My friend, my life. friend, my friend, if, you, if I am if I am a Christian and my 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 son he wanna be a Muslim, I am saving you are saving the parents by killing the child from why? Why would you kill the child? Because you don't have that same knowledge. Well, You're not a servant of Allah. So, you, so I just what I'm saying. Knowledge. So what I'm saying, you are saying if you Muslims have a knowledge who is going to be when he grow By the way, the worst anywhere it says that that guy was a human being who is a human being al-khitar 
where it says uh, you know it says yeah who cares if it's a, who ca- anyway, who cares? it could be something non human could be ah, could be an maybe he is not a human all right okay now l- let me ask you then al khadr uh, is he gilgamesh pardon do you know the story of gilgamesh no i don't think uh, i recall that story okay it, it's a guy who was looking for the fount- fountain of youth right and he took with him a fish and when he arrived to the fountain of youth he did not notice that this is the fountain of youth he wanted to wash his fish with the water and the second the fish touched the water the fish came back to life and this is how he learned that this is <laughs> the fountain of youth and this is al khadr this is where your prophet he got his story from from a fiction stupid story not even good for kids because the whole story is well, that story could be called do you know what khadr means in arabic do, do you know what khadr means in arabic uh, no i don't know green do you know why he was called the green no i don't know any place he sat in it turned green even did the grass no. why because he drank from the fountain of youth well that's and other interpretation he could be an angel no i can even show it to you there from is islamic concept interpretation of of okay. youth in the quran let, the let me ask let me ask you shall die. okay he can be an angel he can be an angel could be, do could angels be do angels know the an, okay angel. hold on do angels know the unseen no angels do not know but if they are in contact with allah of course allah uh uh-huh. help them out with the knowledge okay let me ask you then when allah he wanted to create adam the angels they said to him are you going to create someone he will do mischievement they were talking about who adam how did they know he would do mischievement well uh, to be honest with you there are two understanding for that verses one is it could be satan and the most correct one is that person is adam hmm. he will shed blood on so how they know he will do mischievement well uh, they just assumed and later on they corrected themselves that we were not correct how they are Unless not correct I Allah, you uh, that you do not uh, know uh, how I they know. how they are not correct and adam was kicked out of the heaven they were right adam was not a good guy he was kicked out well it was always the plan of allah but you just said they corrected themselves later allah should correct himself because the one who was wrong is allah it's Allah, he told them, like, they told Allah, how you want to create someone to inherit the earth, to do mischievement. Allah said to them, I know what you know not, which means you are wrong. And you are the one who agreed that they are wrong. But all of us, yeah. we knew that it is the opposite. The yeah. angels were right. But and all Adam, them are servants of Allah. Well, let me ask you a question. Adam was kicked out of heaven because he was a good boy or a bad boy? He made a mistake. Does that mean, they give me an answer. Is that he, does that mean he's a good boy or a bad boy? Well, that means he was a bad boy. I All right. Believe. So the angels were right, and Allah was wrong. So how you believe in such a book? What no, is Allah the... was not wrong. Uh, he was wrong because he, going, because going because because. Church, okay, never... hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. They told him that he would do mischievement. You said that Allah don't agree with them. He said well, to them, they he actually meant by mischief the evil uh, humans he the did they, uh, all of but you know yeah and Allah will extract believers so, from so them. so why then if he is not evil and he will do evil why he kick him out of heaven well the uh, only Allah has it on if you are a good guy you will be kicked out of heaven you if you are not going to do evil your, your place then is in heaven heaven is for a place who do no evil evil is for a place for uh, the earth is for a place for people who do evil this is why we but are in earth. Has not done any evil okay, thing. let me ask you a question. All right. Let, hold, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. He did no evil, but we kick him out of heaven. I mean, what is justice? Come on. Evil. He did disobey Allah. This is evil according to Islam. So don't fool, don't fool yourself. If you disobey Allah, this is evil, will take you to hell. Do you agree? Yeah. Okay. So don't say he did not do evil. Now, look what happened. Allah, he wanted to convince the angels that they are wrong. What Allah did? Allah, he brought Adam. And he taught Adam all the names. Read with me carefully. Names of the angels. All right. He taught the, the Adam all the names. And then he yeah. told the angels, angels, tell me the names of those things. Angels, they said to him, huh, you know, we cannot tell you what those names, them, you know, we have no knowledge. 
what is the purpose of this tell them all the names and tell tell us all the names what Allah is trying to accomplish that the humans they can learn names and they can name things no. what they have learned. the they question have the question is not to Adam my friend you know there yeah. There's there's birds. They can learn names too. I mean don't don't fool yourself. Do you see this bird in the screen? This bird is very well known. The bird is not as intelligent All as right. humans. There's birds who repeat names and doesn't mean they are a big deal I mean, so what mean you, you you know read names Allah? He taught Adam all the names and the purpose is he examined the angels So he said to them tell me the names of those things if you claim that you know you claim to know huh? Okay, tell me the names of those things read with me carefully yeah, Allah uh, and he taught Adam all the names. I'm reading for you uh, yeah. from chapter 2 verse number 31 and he taught Adam all the, the names of all things. Then he placed them which means the things before the angels. So the purpose is to show them what Allah can do and how they are incapable of telling the names and he said to them tell me the names of these if you are right so what the purpose of saying or the, 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 the making this quiz of names is if you are right about Adam how you will go I taught Adam the names of all those things but he's intelligent enough and he can memorize let us see let us see I'm not talking about Adam now I'm talking about the intelligence of your God my friend your yes. God is a stupid you will notice with me in a second that how stupid he is L read carefully that's blasphemy I mean that it doesn't matter what you think for me your God does not exist but hold on Adam he was taught the names Allah now he taught the angels okay tell me the names of those things if you are right right about what right about Adam correct yes all right so now what this what the connection between tell me those names about those things and if you are right what is the connection the connection is uh, he can memorize uh, human, human being is not my a, friend. A, a my creature. friend, he is saying to them, "If you are right, yeah." So, what the connection? Tell me the names if you are right. Adam is not involved here now. He is placing the names, the, the things like the TV, computer, phone, cats, yeah. rats. He placed them all in the front of the angels, and he said to them, "Tell me the names of those things." Angels, yeah. they said to him, "We do not know except what you told us. We cannot." And he is saying to them. Tell me the names of those things if you are right. Right about what? Right about Adam, he would do mischievement. Yeah. Okay, so I agree, right? Well, I still don't know what you actually mean. By what that. do you mean by you that don't point. agree? I want you to say yes or no. The, uh, the angels, they accuse Adam of doing mischievement. Allah, he made a quiz to prove them that they are wrong. So yeah. tell me all those names if you are right. Right about what? About what they mean, what they said. That he will make a mischievement. Read verse number 30 and verse number 31. They said he will do mischievement. Allah, he said to them, I know what you know not. And right away, Allah, he taught Adam all the names. Yeah, not everything is shared, it's just part of, uh, you know, what Allah knows. Uh, it doesn't matter. Allah this is not the topic, no. my friend. I don't know how old are you. How old are you, Mr. Fuad? I'm 32. 32. You are a growing man, you know. When I was. When I was 32, like this is may, maybe eight years ago, uh, I was really a lot wiser than you. Be careful, my friend. It says that they made an accusation that he will do mischievement. Read it carefully with me, number 30. They yeah. said, Wilt thou place therein one who will make mischief therein and shed blood? Allah right away said to them, He said, I know what you know not, which means shut up. You do not know what are you talking about. And now he yeah, want to prove to them, hold on. They want to prove to them that they do not know what they are talking about and they have no knowledge so what he did he taught adam all the names and then yeah, he brought Allah proved that okay wrong. so uh -huh, finally you got it so he wanted to prove to them that they are wrong about adam thank you now when i say to you i named all those things and i gave them names and then i ask yeah. you okay tell me the names of those things is that will prove that i'm god no, of course. So, what's the point of this is stupid names again? Well, human being was a new creation. Back uh, my then, friend, so. what in your answer? Answer. I have a cat. Her name is Susu. I ask you, you are an angel. What is the name of my cat? 
you tell me I do not know and then I say to you her name is Susu is that a proof that I am God of course not so what the point of this this is stupid <laughs> Allah he did the same Allah he did the same listen listen who, who is the one who is the one who gave that listen listen the the creation of Allah my friend my friend no no we are talking about the names forget about the creation I'm talking about the names Allah is the one who gave those things the names correct yeah okay if I am the one who gave them the names what is the miracle here I did if I am the one who gave them the names and I know the names what about we do the opposite Allah says to the angel, what about Allah said to the angel? Okay, name those things and don't tell me the names and I will tell you their names. That would be a miracle. But I am the one who gave them the names and then I tell you the names? That would be stupid. Imagine I have a bunch of cats, a bunch of dogs, a bunch of goats and I place them in the front of you. I don't understand, CP. But yeah, but what, so, so you, you see, you know, when you say Quran, you my friend, understand. my friend, when a Muslim, he you say Quran only. What, when, I mean, I don't have any problem with your understanding. That's yeah, fine. yeah, but, but you have to admit this is stupid, don't you agree? Allah, he no, proved, I don't. Well, he no, Allah, what, I don't so Allah, what, Allah, he proved what here? He proved nothing. So what if he taught Adam all the names? How he proved that he know what they know not? What is the proof? Well, the angels didn't expect uh, Adam to name the things. They no, 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 it's not Adam. Adam, just a person to show them that I taught him and he will go. He will recite them for you. I am the one who taught him. So the point is that he is the one who knows. This is the point. So what the point? There's no point. It's stupid. This is a story is not even for kids and you are a growing man 32 years old you want to believe in this garbage i can say it makes a lot of sense to me but you are i mean it's nothing so what, what why why it makes sense to you explain to me i'm listening why it makes sense if you are the one who named the things where is the miracle here? my understanding is that angels thought that uh human is actually a dumb creature or something made of clay and all but no no this is not the point here he's saying to them i know what you know not it's not yeah. he did not say Adam he yeah. know what he, he did not say he did not say Adam he know what you know not he said I know what you know not and then when he asked them about the names they said to him they said the glory to thee of the knowledge we have none which mean Allah he proved to them that he is the one who have the knowledge they admitted now we are wrong and you are the one who said we are wrong wrong about what wrong about Adam so the whole process here to prove them wrong but this is the not prove them wrong this is prove them right because Adam did mischievement Adam was kicked out of heaven and knowing the names by Allah is a stupid thing because he is the one who gave the names for those things and Allah is just playing a stupid game it's not good even for children. Well, see, that's your understanding. All right, you know, so, I'm going to switch. I'm going to switch. I'm, I'm going. Uh, uh, Fahad, 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 I don't believe that. So. Fahad, I'm going to switch the conversation. Yes. Yeah, sure. I don't want to investigate you no more. I want you to prove to me that the Quran is the book of God. That's a very good question. The answer I have for this is reflect on the verses of Quran. If you find them. Then mm. it's from Allah and it has no contradiction. Then it's fine, it's from Allah. If you find mistakes, then what can I do? Because Allah says in the Quran, uh, Allah will mislead the disbelievers with this Quran. <laughs> Allah will increase them in error. Guys, did you did you hear it? Did you hear it? Allah will mislead the disbelievers. If we go in the Quran, chapter 4, verse number 88, it says, And the one who Allah deceive, nobody can guide. And we just heard our friend here, Mr. Fuad, saying, Well, obviously, Allah, He will mislead the unbelievers by that Quran. So this Quran is not to, do, to, to guide you, this Quran is to mislead you. This is the book of the devil. Not for everybody. That's why Allah says no, no, no. You say it. You say it. Everybody heard you. And you Fahad, fear Fahad, Fahad, Fahad. You, everybody heard you saying, Allah will mislead the disbeliever. Correct? Yes. Okay. That's correct. So, but Allah, when when the Quran came, there was no believer except Muhammad. Yeah. So Allah, He will mislead the disbelievers, all of them, which means all the Muslims. Which means all of you, because at that time there was zero Muslim when he said that. So Allah will mislead all the disbelievers, but the only believer at that time it was Muhammad. 
You can say that. So Muhammad is the first to mis to, to 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 deceive. No, Muhammad was a Muslim. He submitted. No, he Muhammad was not a Muslim, my friend. Muhammad, Muhammad, ma Muslim. oh hold on, Muhammad was not a Muslim. Read with me carefully, you know. Yeah. yeah. In the Quran, it says that Allah He found Muhammad lost, and He guided. Yeah. He okay. was lost. Okay, what what is that? I mean? know that verse. What is Allah that made himself sufficient as well? What does that mean? He was dull and Muhammad was lost. He was an orphan and lost. Allah guided him. Orphan doesn't make you lost, my friend. Orphan is you are just an orphan. He was an orphan and also lost. Lost and in, also, in, which means in, in, in a religious lost, in lost in which lost. way? Lost in which way? Religious way. All right, thank you. So he was a, a disbeliever too. Yeah. Okay. I mean, so so why Islam, so how it. Allah so how Allah will misguide by the Quran will deceive by the Quran the disbelievers if Muhammad himself was a disbeliever. Okay. Every single disbeliever will be misled by the Quran. Ah, so Allah he made a book, and this book is a magical book. Some Miracle. people, some people, they will be deceived by this book, and some people they will be guided by this book. Yeah. So what the point? Why this book? So this is this mean this book That's is not from God. And we should do what Allah says. What Allah said? That you should do salah, you should do zakat. This is what will make you go to heaven. And do good deeds, help the poor, orphans. Okay, but this will take you to heaven. Yeah, this is all that will take us to heaven. Okay, how you help the, the you how, how how you help how you, how you help the orphan. Well, just look after them, help them out. How, with how, the... how, 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 how you help them? Okay. Uh... Well, you have to look after them. That's how. How? how no, you need to tell me how. How? Is that is that by having sex with them? Is that by having sex with them? No, 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 no way. Okay. Well, the Quran says. That Quran says you can marry one, two, three, or four of them. Okay. What what uh, what about the orphan? Which verse is speaking about the orphan in the Quran? This the, the verse you have opened up. Which one? That you can marry one, two, or three, or four of them. I, I don't know exactly. This is about orphan. Which... You can marry orphan. Yeah, you can marry up to four. But they are orphan. They are kids. No, when they grow up, of course. Ah. I thought you are helping the orphan. This is if they are yes. growing, if they are growing yes. up already, my friend, my friend. If they are growing up yes. already, they are not orphan. Their property into they their are property. not orphan. This they are not the orphan. Not not orphan. And listen, 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 listen. Uh, in the Quran, your book saying that Muhammad, he don't know what faith is. What was yeah. the religion of Muhammad? Well, he was lost. That's all Quran says. What 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 his religion was? He was an atheist. Uh, yeah, the Quran does not speak of it. Okay, what what do you think? At that time, people they used to worship Allah and Al Uzza. Maybe uh, he didn't believe in anything. He was just lost, and he mm -hmm. was not a mushrik. Allah has never called him a mushrik. Allah called him lost. Mm, okay, you see, when you quote for me the chapter of An Najm. Uh, it says yeah. that your friend he was not misguided. Why? Why it says what? What? what he was it? not misguided when the Quran was revealed to him. Of course. Mm. Have you ever heard? <laughs> okay. Have you ever heard of the satanic verses? Pardon? Have you ever heard of the satanic verses? I mean, come on, CP. Even you know, know that Allah is questioning. Uh, do you believe in Allah Tuzat and Al Manat? No, I'm asking you. Do you? Do you okay, so, so okay, but the Quran that. confirmed that Allah He receives satanic verses. I mean, come on, you, you can do better than that. Well, here we go. It's in the front of you, chapter twenty-two, verse number fifty-two. What do you say? Well, uh, yeah, Allah speaks of that. Uh, Satan throws in it. It's okay, a second ago, uh, a second ago, you laugh and you said you can do better than that, but it's true. So Allah, He is confirming.
that your prophet he receives satanic verses why you said you can do but not the... about prophet muhammad this is about whom this is about prophets that uh, satan did actually confuse them hmm. but the prophet the message of but prophet it says muhammad but no this is a message sent to my friend honest. my friend this message the was sent you cannot change cannot this be is a message yet. sent to your prophet speaking to your prophet and it says speaking about the future not about the past but allah will cancel anything well you know what will mean so this is about something happened in the time of muhammad life and allah will cancel anything that shaitan is throw there in. is another verse that speaks of uh, prophet muhammad almost invented a lie about allah because he was manipulated by the people but then allah says it was i who strengthened you if i has if i have not strengthened you okay hold on hold on hold on hold on, you hold on but allah he confirmed that he he shaitan he throw in the desire of the prophet and allah, allah will cancel allah what cancel allah will it. cancel allah will cancel what what whatever satan throws in it so how we know what a shaitan he threw in what he threw in you have to believe in god here you have to trust god no no no. allah will cancel how we will know now what is cancelled and what is not well whatever satan has thrown is being cancelled well, how, we know? how we know how we know that this verse itself is not coming from shaitan uh, if no. let us say, let, listen, listen, listen. If Shaitan he was able to give Muhammad satanic verses, and your your God confirming that Shaitan he can do that to all the prophets, not only Muhammad, all his prophets, and you are the one who said that. So now, if the Shaitan can make the prophet say verses coming from Shaitan as if they are Quran, how we know that this verse itself is not from the Shaitan himself? not the worst satan throws in a verse something but the quranic code is different it cannot be tempered with how in muhammad he did not even notice all the muslim scholars well, about, the story. about to make a mistake muhammad was about to invent a lie about no no Allah, no no, no. it's not about, about it says he will quran. cancel you cannot say he will cancel if he did not do it yet cancel what cancel something never happened Use your intelligence, my friend. Cancel what is about to happen. No, not Satan about what about happened. No, anything he throw already. It says a throw. Yeah. So he throw already, and Allah will cancel it. So already it happened. Not something it will happen. What will what Allah will cancel it because it's already happened. Yes. So now, how it. we know that this verse itself is not coming from Shaitan? No, this was not not coming from Shaitan. How you know? How you Allah know? Been sincere How you know? Shaitan, he will make you. Shaitan, he will make you comfortable because now people didn't notice that Muhammad is a fake prophet and he is satanic prophet and he worshipped the daughters of the Lord. So now he, Muhammad, he want to make himself look good. So he said, "Don't worry, be happy. Allah will cancel it." How we know that this verse itself is not coming from Shaitan? If already Shaitan he throw in the mind of Muhammad. And the mouth of Muhammad words. Well, yeah. Allah has strengthened him. How, how we know that this is Allah? Maybe this is Shaitan. Shaitan already the, the Quran, this verse confirm that Shaitan already throw verses in Muhammad's mouth. And let me show you something. Allah in the Quran in different verses says that Allah will cause you to forget the Quran. Do you agree right. with that? Why? Well, uh, if uh, Muhammad has started issuing teaches, teachings on his own. What then, his own? What his own? I mean, he, he's not teaching the Quran. He's just making up verses. Then, of course, Allah will stop the revelation. Okay, so you are saying that those verses which is made up by Muhammad, Allah will make you forget them? Sorry, I didn't get your question. You are saying that Allah will cancel those verses now. Are you saying that those verses Allah are, will not cancel the verses, but whatever Satan throws could be words in the verses? Could listen be carefully, anything. my friend. Listen carefully. Yeah. Chapter 2, verse number one, uh, 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 106. Allah saying, 106. Yeah. He, Allah saying, supposedly, none of our revelation do we abrogate or cause to be forgotten. But we substitute something better or similar. Why Allah will make you forget the Quran? Well, Allah does not say in this verse that Allah will make you forget. Ma means no, nansak means Allah does not cause a verse to be abrogated. 
So Allah never Man caused anything. So Allah never say never abrogated the verse. Are you saying? No. <laughs> okay, uh, but there is verse in the Quran saying you cannot marry from the Christians. You can. You cannot marry from the Christians, and there is verses saying because you can you marry can from, the from the Christians. Yeah, and there is verses you cannot marry from the Christians. So if Which Allah, if there is no abrogation, if there is no abrogation, then you know. Uh, uh, so, 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 so are you okay? Hold on, hold on. Hold on. Uh, I, I, want, I want to get you. I want to get you right. Hold on. Forward, forward. I want to get you right. Are you saying there's no abrogation in Islam or there's abrogation? There is no abrogation in Quran. I don't know about Islam. I don't know which Islam you're talking about. Mm. Okay. Let us see. The verse in the front of you it says, "Wala tanka hul mushrikat hatta yu minna wa wa al amal mu'mina khayrun min mushrika." Don't marry or don't have sex with women who they are mushrikat. Chapter two, verse number two, two one. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Is is is? But you said the other verse saying that you can marry Christians, correct? It says you can marry those Christians who are virgin. Ah, where it says that? Uh, let me. Virgins. Me Virgins. This so it is... says uh, Allah made uh, food of uh, Ahlul Kitab law lawful for you. Uh -huh. and, yeah, let me check. Hmm. <clears throat> And it says there you can marry the virgins. It says it's five chapter five verse number five. Okay, and it says there that you can marry the virgins of them. This yeah. what, what, what read for me. Let me see. I look like I am. Uh, I want to learn from you. <coughs> virgin believers of the book. Really, where it says the word yeah. virgins. Well, Mohsenatu Minal Mominati. I mean, this is where it says in the words. Where is the word? Well, where is the word? Where, where is the word virgin? Well, Mohsenatu means virgin. That's the that's from the same verse which you see, used, my friend. Uh, my friend, before, the before I told you, I told you the word Mohsenat, it means the married women. So the okay. mother of Christ was a married woman because All Allah right. calls her right. Mohsenat. Okay, okay, okay. Here you are saying it's mean the virgins, correct? It means virgin. No, it's mean that those no in the Mahsanat, it's simply the word mean that those who protect themselves, they guard they guard themselves, which means they are not they women. Guard themselves. Yeah. yeah, that yeah. you can say yeah. of course but, but it, not, it means virgin. But not virgin, no, not 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 miss okay, it can be a virgin, but have nothing to, have nothing to do have nothing to do with virgin. However, listen, it's forbidden for you in this verse in the front of us. To marry from non believers. Do you agree? Chapter 2, verse number 22. 22 mushrikeen, it says Mushrikeen. Yes, Mushrikeen is not a, uh, the, 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 the Christian. Allah nowhere in the, the Quran Christian, said Christians are Mushrikeen. Are you sure? Yeah. So, what worshiping Jesus would God mean? Is the, are they Mushrikeen well, or not? Those who believe I am one of three is a kafir. They have done so. Kufr. So, what Mushrik mean? Mushrik means one who sets abominations to God, one who associates with Allah. Okay, so Jesus, let us say the Christian, they worship beside Allah, Jesus. Is that Mushrik or no? Oh, you believe that Jesus is God, so <laughs> you're just... Well, those are the Christians, my friend. The Christian you are talking about, they believe in Jesus as God too. What are you talking about? Jesus as God, yeah, that's fine. Jesus is God. So how come that shirk? Sh okay, well, the Quran says that the Messiah is one of the three, and one of them is Allah. Those who say that God is one of three are kuffar. They have committed kuffar. Hmm. So they are not mushrikeen. No, they're not mushrikeen. But they're now they have, kufar. they have. But now they have, they have at least three gods according to you in Islam, the Quran. They have Mary and Allah and Jesus. Are they mushrikeen no, or not? I think that verse speaks of Trinity, where Father, Holy Spirit. No, and the yeah, Son. Trinity. But the Islamic Trinity, Muhammad got it wrong. So if the Christian believe. That the Trinity is Mary and Allah and Jesus is that shirk or not? 
well then then that's shirk okay so why you are saying to me there's no abrogation because this verse says you cannot have a woman she is from the mushroom well, this verse forbids you from mushrik. my friend my friend obviously obviously you have no idea what are you talking about the Quran mm -hmm. is all of it is about abrogation there's tons of verses in the Quran abrogated mm -hmm. and that's a lie never ever a verse of the Quran has been abrogated really okay hold on yeah okay okay if we go and we see is is the is, is the alcohol forbidden in Islam not really not Allah really. says it's uh, it's footstep of Satan Amalul Shaitan okay so is it forbidden or not no it's not forbidden it's not haram I wouldn't say that okay Allah says there's less benefit in him mm. then so it's not forbidden in Islam let us read this verse yeah hmm Chapter 2, verse number 219. What this chapter is says? Chapter 5, verse number 90. What this chapter is says? What does it say? It Let's says, it I'm, says I'm to you. I'm actually looking at your screen. It says to you. It. All right. Easy. It says, let us see my screen if you wish. Oh, who you yeah. believe, alcohol and gambling and etc. and playing with the stones and arrows and etc. is abon uh, abomination of Satan handwork. So yeah, avoid those things. Allah is forbidden you from avoid doing them, but it does not use the word haram. It is haram. It says fajtani bu, fajtani But the word haram is not there. That's the proper word. For My friend, forbidding no, something. okay, you know what? Allah says stay away from them, and that's okay. a good thing. Okay, stay away. That does not mean haram. Well, Allah also speaks in the Quran that uh, don't pray when you're high. Listen, I'm asking you a serious question. Why would Allah mention such a word? When I then? say, when I say, stay away from it, that means it's not haram. No. Hmm. Okay. So it's I, something you shouldn't do. So all those things, all those away th from. There's all, a big difference. I mean, you're just you know limiting yourself to halal and okay, haram. Okay. Hold on. Hold on. In chapter 16, verse number 36, it says, Is that mean haram or not? Taghut. Taghut. The same word. You say it, just yeah. stay away taghut. from it. We don't stay away from Taghut because Hadid is the Taghut. My friend, this is the question. A Taghut here is a Shaitan, Satan. So, no, no, Taghut does not mean Shaitan. Taghut means any teachings, anything outside the Quran. Hadith is a taghut. Okay, is the shaitan is, is the is, is the shaitan is the evil one? Yes, shaitan is the okay. evil one. So, are you saying it's not halal? It's not haram for you to to do evil? No, oh, I'm I'm not saying that it's okay. So the word so word is tanabu. This is the same word is used there. It says is You said to me is does not mean haram. Here it says is No, this word it says is You said it does not mean haram. I'm showing you the yeah. same word in different verse which and uh, and stay away from the evil is that mean haram yeah. for you to do evil or, or do well, that can and, be do, the understanding, and so do satanic work or it's halal. Will not is it, it haram, is it halal or haram drink it as well oh. that's something you should just stay away from that's no oh. good for you uh, okay what about Fish, you can't okay, hold on, hold you on. Know, is 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 is, is is statues is pagans are haram for you or halal? What is haram? Sorry, Othan, the Othan, the 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 idols, the uh, the pagan idols, the pagan idols. Mm. They're unclean. The nudges. All right. So, is the food provided for the idols is haram for you or it's lawful? Yes, that is haram. That okay. Is where haram. in the Quran it says that? Well, it's in the same verse. Which verse? Uh, well, maybe I'm not sure if the word haram is being used. It does not say Let haram. It says it's tenable. Then okay, I agree with you. Then it means <laughs> I mean you, you see you make me feel like I'm in a nursing school, so I have to show you tons verses, ten verses. Not, I'm, I'm not a stubborn person, you know. I, it, I but yeah, my friend, why person, you are saying you know, why you come yourself. why you from the beginning you say I'm not sure and we don't need to go and show you verse after verse and show you that this is what the verse mean. So now we have a contradiction. You said there's no obligation, we go to zero. You said the word is tenable. 
does not mean haram but now we discover that okay I agree with you the word this tanibu mean haram so now it's not lawful for you it is you should not marry a kuffar and you should not do that and the Christians are kuffar and they are mushrikeen too well Allah has forbidden from mushrikeen not tahlul kitab okay so you are saying the Ahl Kitab not mushrikeen. I ask you many times. Among them, you know, maybe those who believe Jesus is God, they're not mushrikeen, they're actually kuffar. <laughs> you know, if you say like Mary is part of Trinity, uh, then there is I, the I like, I like friend. you. I, I like you, my friend. I like you. Seriously. You are very funny. I, I like you. No, listen, listen, listen. Listen, let me show you. Uh, when you say the Christians are not mushrikeen, they are kuffar. Obviously, you yeah. do not know what kuffar mean, and you do not Reject. know what mushrikeen mean, because both words it mean the same thing, except no, that that mushrikeen, 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 mushrikeen alone mean that those who believe in Allah but they associate with Him. The kuffar yeah. is someone. Maybe, but not necessarily believe in other God, but maybe he believe in, in so the Quran confirm already says okay. that they have become kuffar to what was revealed to them. What? So you have become those who believe that you know Mary's part of Trinity, they are the kuffar of the New Testament. Yeah, but you know the Quran in, in chapter of Al Ma'idah, verse number 72 and 73 says that those who believe that Allah is the Messiah, the son of Maryam. They are uh, mushrikeen, and you said we are not mushrikeen. Well, if the verse says so, then. But you said there is nowhere in the Quran it says that. Can you show me the verse, please? Okay, hold on. Oh, uh, you know, uh, for it, when I talk to Muslims, I feel like seriously, uh, like I am talking to you know kids. With my respect to you, you know, are a growing man. But Muslims do not know their religion, and they confirm to you that they know. And this is what was killing me. Like I know there is no verse in the Quran that says that there is no, you know. Okay. Let no, the, that's why I have asked you rather than you know. My friend, you are the Muslim absolutely. here. Supposedly, you are the Muslim, not me. It's a shame. That I'm a human being. I can make. It doesn't mistakes. matter. I am a human being too. I'm not. I'm not. Uh, you know. Anyway, let us go uh, to Al Maid. Uh, hold on. Where is? Mm. All right. We go to okay. mm. All right. <clears throat> Where is it? Chapter five. Okay, if we go to chapter five, لقد كفر الله الذين قالوا أن الله ثالث ثلاثة. Those who they say that Allah is one of three, they are kuffar. All right. Yeah. And then if we go to verse seventy-two. Here we go. لقد كفر الذين قالوا إن الله هو المسيح ابن مريم وقال المسيح يا بن إسرائيل. Let me mute you for a second. Okay. Are you back? Okay, I'm back. Sorry about that. All right. Go to verse number 72, please, and tell me what is the verse saying? Uh, 72. Yeah. Which chapter? Well, you can actually go to, to verse, yeah, verse 72. And verse, the chapter number 5. Chapter 5, 72. Um.
Yeah, I do agree with you. It does speak of, uh, you know, different bands of Christians. Some are Mushrik. No, there's not some. This is all of them. They are Mushrik according to Islam and they are Kuffar. So not only this, actually, there's many more verses. If you go uh, to chapter 9, verse number 31, it says the same. Uh, it says that those who worship their monks and rabbis, it, it, instead of worshiping Allah and the Messiah, uh, uh, blah, blah, blah. And then it says, uh, uh you know like uh, uh you know they are mushrikeen so you know it you are you are just you are just uh, ignoring many verses in the quran and you're you know you believe that you are the one who knows but in fact this is not true so now we go back to zero this is a contradiction if you don't believe in abrogation that means there's a contradiction in the quran for the Quran says, no, no, that's totally wrong. The abrogation, there's no abrogation in the Quran. So, yeah, how, so how you cannot be so how you cannot marry a believer, but you can marry a believer and a non believer? How you can can very one verse says you cannot marry an unbeliever. Huh? Well, you cannot marry such a Christian, the Christian who believes no, in it the says, Bible no, and who no, believes no. we believe in Jesus as God. No, the one who does not believe Jesus. There is not is even God. there is not you even a single him. Christian, my friend. My friend, what are you talking about? If you are a Christian, you don't believe in Jesus as God. You are no Christian, and the Jews are mushrikeen too. But obviously, you have no idea what your book is about. Don't you know that the Jews believe that they have a son of God too? They have given that ideology up, so they're not mushriks anymore. And who is that? Who? What do you mean, not Muslim mushrik anymore? The Jews. Where? Where? Where they are not mushrik anymore? What do you mean? They, they don't believe that Uzair is the son of God anymore. No, they don't believe in the beginning and they don't believe now because this is a fabrication they of used Muhammad. They to believe that nobody Uzair believed. was a reformist this is, before Christ. My friend, this is a stupid mistake of your prophet. There is nobody in the world of the Jews ever heard of someone. His name is Uzair and they worship a guy. His name is Uzair. Where is Uzair? Who is Uzair? Nobody no, of the Jews. Jews worshipped him. Nobody. No, it says. No. Yahud. No. Listen carefully. They worship him as a son of God, and this is in chapter 9, verse number 30, 30. And this is in the time of Muhammad, supposedly, but not even a single Jew believe in that. Well, they gave up this ideology. Where do you mean? When do you mean give up? Give me proof. Where do you get this from? Give me, give me, show me one, one copy I of the Torah. Have proof. So I it's have false, it's false, it's, it's a lie. It is a lie, it. it's a lie. So you see. You take the Quran over all the manuscript of the Jews. The Jews, they, they have manuscript go to thousands of years. And you refuse all the manuscript and you accept a guy who came 600 and years. He's uh, been manipulated so, and written by So how Arabs, you know so that this is not, the, the so how you do not know that this verse itself is not a fabrication because not even a single Jew, he have a, a guy, his name is Uzair and he's son of God. <laughs> 12 tribes, so one of them, which one, but no, it doesn't say a tribe, it says no, it says Waqarat al Yahud, all the Yahud they say that this is false. Waqarat al Nasara, all the Nasara they say that they didn't say some of the Nasara. <coughs> Wake up! <laughs> well, they used to believe that they, they just don't anymore. Do you have a proof? Do you have a proof? Do you have a proof? No, I don't have proof. So, Do you have how proof you know that there was never a guy? Yeah, we, because we have the Torah. We have the, anything like that. We have the Torah. Well, the, the Torah same, is just the same, the same as the, the same, you know, the same. The let me, let me ask you, let me ask you. <clears throat> let us, let us finish with this because <clears throat> it's endless. I can show you endless mistakes in your Quran. And my friend, for it, I'm, I'm not, I don't want to insult you. But your book is the most stupid book ever. I want to ask you, <laughs> Mary. Mary is the daughter. Of, listen, 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 listen. Mislead my friend, Muslim my friend. Spirit. Mary is the daughter of who? <laughs> Imran. Oh no, not. Uh, yeah, Imran. Okay. Yeah. Who is the father of Arun or Aaron or Harun? Imran. Father of Harun is Amran too. Yeah. Okay. So that will make Mary the sister of Harun. Yeah. But Mary, the mother of Jesus, is exist long after Harun. Well, that's a good one because do you think there was just one man in the history, Aaron, and that was Mo brother of Moses, and since then never, ever any Jew named himself Aaron. Ah, so Amran, it's happened. That the Quran says that Mary is the sister of Aaron, 
and it says happened that both of them they have the same father name and it happened that um, uh, uh, Harun and Musa they have a sister her name is Maryam I mean amazingly where does Quran speaks <coughs> of uh, Maryam the sister of Moses in the Quran you don't have it in so the I Quran. don't know CP what story my friend, my friend in the in, this is from the Bible your prophet he learned from the Jews that Aaron he have a sister Aaron and Musa they have a sister her name is Maryam so Muhammad he but thought the Quran speaks of sister of Moses where I don't know when he was uh, chapter 19 verse number 28 uh, maybe I think so I'm not sure <laughs> this is the mother of Jesus yeah okay so how she is the sister of Aaron the mother of Jesus is not sister of Aaron he's just a different Aaron so you are saying here the Quran saying that Aaron is the uncle of Jesus, but this is not the same as Musa's brother. No. How? What is your proof? I mean, they're just two people with the same name. My friend, the Quran will not mention a name if it's not known. Harun is already mentioned in the Quran as a prophet of God. He is the brother of Musa's. So if you want to say to somebody, the sister of etc., then you have to introduce to us the, that that person before you introduce the sister. Well, Allah Allah is not you see my friend my friend if Allah I say if I say this is a sister of Fuad then people they will know that first we know Fuad right it doesn't yeah. make it doesn't make sense to say this is this is the sister of Fuad if people do not know who's Fuad they will ask me who's Fuad <laughs> that's really even more funny so when he say oh sister of Aaron that's mean Aaron is already introduced and Aaron or Harun is already mentioned as a prophet he is the brother of Moses. There's no two Harun in the whole Quran. So the Quran made a stupid mistake. Muhammad, he thought that Harun is the same guy who is the brother of Mary. Why? Because the Jews, they have a woman. Her name is Maryam. She is the sister of Aaron. And she is the daughter of Amran. Or in the Hebrew, Amram. So Muhammad, he thought that this is the same Maryam Maryam the sister of Jesus the, the, the mother of Jesus and Maryam the sister of Aaron and this is why we find the story which you don't believe in anyway that uh, uh, Kabul Ahbar which is a rabbi he went to Aisha and he said to her but you know Mary is not the sister of Aaron <laughs> and Aisha she said to him you are a liar which mean Aisha she don't believe him when he pointed the, the the mistake Muhammad is making so this is why we have a stupid mistake in the Quran believing that Mary See, is the a thing sister. is you have been reading the silly hadiths and that's my friend I am I am I am now proving to you from the Quran you have no proof that Aaron or our Harun is not the same the brother of Moses and there's no way you say oh sister of Aaron without introducing Aaron for me that because that would be stupid and the Quran as you see all those verses introducing to us who is Aaron already so we know who's Harun this is why there's no need to introduce him because already he's introduced the story of Harun and Moses already is mentioned many times in the Quran so now he jumped to say oh sister of Aaron because he do not need to say who is Aaron he is introducing Mary Mary the daughter of Amran the sister of Aaron so it was an introduction for this woman who she did get a bread net without a father uh, 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 having a husband well, see, that's your understanding no this is not my understanding so, otherwise put me wrong who is Harun I don't know from where you have learned no 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 stuff. I want you to tell me who is Harun Harun the brother of Mary you say this is another Harun how you know who told you this is another Harun Prove it to me. There's only. Let me ask you. There's, the of there's only. Is it true that is there is only one Harun in the Quran? Only one. No, there are basically two Haruns in Where? the Quran. Who? One is the brother of who, Moses. Who is the second one? Who is who is the second one? Brother of Maryam. How you know that this is not the same? Well, they're not same. The time is not same. It how like, you know? How you know this is not the same person? No, 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 no. Okay. But when you say, oh, sister of Aaron, why the Quran did not mention that the father of Mary, she have a good daughter, her name is Maryam, and a son, his name is Harun. If you go there in the verse, you will see that... Uh, 
Harun and his biography listen, listen. mentioned when Allah had, has chosen Maryam. Listen, listen, listen. Your God, he mentioned the story of a man who is old. And this man, he brought a son. His name is Yahya. Correct? Yeah. Okay. And then he mentioned a story of a same thing. A person or a man who have only one daughter her name is Maryam no the Quran does not say that there's just one daughter and she's really Maryam. really okay let that, us that that see that where in the yeah, Quran she would be one daughter she's just <coughs> one sister okay just one woman in the okay house. let me ask you where in the Quran it speak about Maryam that she is how she is born do you know? No, I don't know. Mm, so how you know that uh, the Quran did not, you know? Oh yeah, uh, I mean uh, the good news was given to the mm. mother of Mary. Mm. Okay. That uh, it's a woman. Okay. All right. That she will serve God. All right. And she said, how can it be a woman? Okay. So uh, uh, the, the wife of Amman. Okay. Serve God. Why Allah did not mention that Mary? She is the sister of Aaron in that verse. Here we go. He's speaking about that this woman. It's, it's irrelevant. Why? Mentioning Aaron. So is it relevant to tell us that she is a sister of Aaron? What the point to say she is sister of Aaron? Already we know that she is the daughter of Amran. We can say daughter of Amran. Well, maybe, uh, maybe Harun is her younger brother or something. Why? Okay. Why well, you are mentioning his name anyway? What the point? If there is no point. Well, uh, because Allah is telling what you know, people did not know before. That what well, they didn't know that Mary had a brother as well. You know, you are just trying to cover a stupid mistake. However, you know, Mr. Fuad, we showed it already. <laughs> no, no, no. You, <laughs> you have no proof of what you are saying. You are the one who make your own assumption. You have to admit, correct? No, I'm not making an assumption. So, how I'm asking you for the last time, what is the proof that this Aaron is not the same Aaron in previous verses? I do not have any proof. So why you are saying this is the same one? Why you are saying the same? He is the same one. Why? Why you are? You know, I I want to accuse you. I'm not. I'm not being rude. I am accusing you of fabrication now. I am accusing you of fabrication because you should not say something you are not sure of from. So I'm asking you for the last time: Are you sure? Do you have any evidence that this is not the same Harun, which is the brother of Moses? Well, no, I don't have any evidence. I'll be honest. So why you are saying that to me? Okay, why you are saying that to me? If you have no evidence, that means you have nothing. Well, you're following. No, 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 no. So you see, you are the one is following. Why you are saying to me this is not the same person? I lying, don't believe that there could be lying to yourself. No, you, no, you ever named <laughs> no. Aaron. You that are lying. Aaron. You are. This is what you are doing. You are just lying to yourself, ashamed of your Quran. Trying to avoid the problem that your God, even simple things you do not know. It's okay, CP, just relax. I mean, let's just stop. Well, you know, no, for, for us, for circles. us, for us, my friend, we have enough people they watch, they watch already, it's recorded. And you know, you admitted from the beginning that your God, he do not know even which one he created first, and we showed you tons of mistakes, and you agree with them. And each time I correct you, you say, Okay, you are right, let's go back, and we go back to zero. So I want to say to you, I feel sorry for you. Quran people thank because you, thank you. because because simply you are Quran only for a very simple reason for you are ashamed of your prophet speeches you have to admit so in well, order that's a lie that's a no, lie so why you are Quran, why you are hadith only why you are hadith only why you are, I am just I just believe in the Quran alone and that's it Islam is from the Quran alone so you and Allah says what hadith you believe in <laughs> after the verses of Allah yeah so when when, when Allah he says the Sun is set in the murky water yeah. that is what Allah is saying right that that's 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 the proof that Muhammad is a prophet the Sun set in the murky water then we go to the hadith we found the hadith confirming the Quran and that will make it more embarrassing because now you cannot play around and say oh it doesn't mean that so what we can do well, Allah in the Quran says the sun set in murky water. Well, CP, it says clearly in the Quran, Tilqayatullahi 
نتلوها علیك بالحق کی فبی ای حدیث بعد الله و آیاته یؤمنون what is the point of this verse what is the point of this verse if Allah he is saying the sun set in a murky water well cp how would you explain you know um a place or something to a person 1400 years ago maybe ah, so Allah Allah have to ago. compromise you know Allah, you, you would have are you saying to me okay you are waters. all right you are saying that Allah he and then you see the sun said that means you have reached that place ah so Allah he was speaking to naive people playing naive with them yeah, of course, Allah is not going to give them Google coordinates or something. Uh -huh, that, but know, but nobody, but nobody is there. asking Allah to say the sun set in murky water. You don't have to say so. Why he is giving them wrong information? Well, that that's not the wrong information. What do you mean that wrong information? Do the sun set in murky water? No, it seems like that's metaphorical. It doesn't say it seems like it says for wajadaha and he found it. Yeah. Hmm. Did he really found it? <laughs> Did he really found the sun sent in murky water? If then I say it seems like the sun is setting, it doesn't say it seems like my friend. You know, first, stop, 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 stop fooling yourself. It says Hatta either Balaga Maghriba Shams until he reach. Yeah. Balaga reach a place, it's a location where the yeah. sun set. It's not Zulkarnain talking, it's Allah talking. It's Allah talking. Yes, yeah, that's right. Wajadaha, he found it. It's Allah talking still. He found it. So Allah reporting a fact. He found it sitting in hot, murky water. And Wajada in the Qawman, and he found next to it people. So next to that place, he found people. So this is a location where the sun set. Yeah, of course. It would seem like the sun is setting in the murky My waters. friend, don't say it seemed too. He didn't say it seemed. He says until he reached the but, place. But that's how Allah speaks. Don't forget the fact that Allah wishes also to mislead many with this Quran. Ah, so the purpose of this verses here is to deceive us and to make us believe that the sun set in the murky water. What the benefit? Well, that that's for you, CP. That understanding is really no. You are the one who believe in this, not me. I don't believe in I one mean, word in the Quran. Let me tell you, my friend. Let me tell you something very. With my respect to you, let me tell you something very stupid. You said, you said this Quran will mislead many. A book cannot mislead anyone unless you believe in it. Do you agree? Well, you're being misled. You don't even believe. No, no, it. no. Don't, don't, don't say that. I just said to you a very simple fact, a logic. Only if you believe in something you can be misled with it if you are not believing in you it You don't have to believe all you have to do is my read. friend my friend if you don't if you are not if you are not a believing in this book You are already misled it's supposed to so why but the Quran has, why the Quran the is going to mislead me? Been, this book from your mouth is the one who will mislead You because you Muslims only believe in it now. You just admitted that your God is fooling us Making us believe that the Sun set in the murky water what kind of God this God is? Well, CP, I've given you my explanation. I don't know what you actually, you know, want well, to I, 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 You gave me the explanation. Explanation is very clear. You said to me that, yes, he said that to mislead you. Yes, but that's how you explain a situation 1400 years ago. Oh, so Allah, is, Allah 1400, 1400 years ago, he was, he was working full time as the devil. So he starts saying to us fiction lie story that the sun set in the murky water He found where the sun rise. He found where the sun set and he built a, a, a dam between the people of Gog and Magog and fictions a fly, a fly, If the a, sun sets towards the mountains, then I would say sun is setting in the mountains My friend, no He is saying it clearly the sun where the, it's set in a murky water for what you like no it doesn't so say it seemed it and you admitted you admitted it. it doesn't say it seemed like he said he found it he is reporting a fact when i say and i found it it's mean i'm repeating it I'm, I'm stating a fact if i say to you i went to the room and i found my dog barking that's mean i found this is what i found it's a it's a fact so i'm not saying he thought I found this is what he says in Arabic for Wajadaha Wajadaha Tagaribu fi ain in Hamia. Wajada, he repeat again the fact Wajada in the Hakoman. 
and he found next to it people. So it's a location where the sun set. In the imagine it says in the which means and the and, and the shams next to the sun. Yeah. Imagine guys next to the sun where the sun set next to the sun. He found people live there. You know, and those people they ask uh, uh, ask uh, Zulkarnain, which is a uh, coming the story from Alexander the Great fiction story, to build for them a, a, a dam because there is people they are called the people of Gog and Magog, and those people they are very evil, and they want you to build a dam between us and them, and then they will not be able to go and 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 destroy the earth, and according to Islam. There is a dam until now exist, and this dam is holding the Gog and Magog people. And Gog and Magog, they are like ants, like by trillions, not billions. Can I ask you, Mr. Fuad, as long as we are here, where we can yeah. find this dam and Gog and Magog? Pardon? Where we can find the dam which built by Alexander the Great or Zulkarnain and Gog and Magog? Where, where, where we can find Gog and Magog? I don't think we can find it. Uh, well, Allah so has why? hidden it. It will be ah. broken on the day of judgment. Ah, they are hidden, but this is a mountain where the sun set. Yeah, it's in between. It might be covered or something. Ah, Maybe humans can you know, find yeah. it. Just like that's Habul Ka. Uh -huh. Guys, Allah, he hide them. But remember, my friend, this is a big dam between two huge mountains made from copper and iron. How you can thousands hide of years ago don't forget that it might so, be covered in dust or something maybe mountains now and now what happened to the people of Gog and Magog they're still alive inside by billions inside mm -hmm. where inside I where? don't know inside where in inside the dam where how big this dam to have billions of people there I don't know Allah also says that when the dam is broken they will descend from every elevation so I don't know. Mm, must be a true story. Do you think that this dam is in Somalia? Could be in Turkey somewhere near the Dead Sea. Or, in Turkey, so I that, don't think it's. Somalia. Are you saying that? Uh, that's an assumption, by okay. the way. Okay. Are you honest, are you are you saying the Allah. are you saying the sun set in Turkey? No, by I mean the murky water. It could be the Dead Sea. The Dead Sea is not in Turkey, my friend. Well, it's near somewhere. Ah, it's around. It's around. Yeah, the Dead Sea. The Dead Sea is the murky water. Okay. Well, anyway, thank you, Mr. Fuad, for coin us. I was happy. Uh, by the way, we have just one, you know, uh, request for you that you know, uh, making fun of the Quran. That's not the right track. Muslims, they don't believe in the Quran anymore. You know that Sunnis do, do not even know the Quran. My friend, hadith, my friend, my friend hadith, I'm not making, hadith. I'm not making fun of the Quran. The Quran is the book of the devil, and it is the enemy of mankind. This is an evil book, teaching man to beat his wife, teaching man to have sex with the children. It's your, if, if it's your way of uh, taking revenge on the Muslims or something, I'm not I taking revenge of anyone, my friend. I'm trying, I'm, tr hadith, I'm trying, to, I'm trying to save you, my friend. I'm not revenging from you. I'm not fighting you. I'm not killing you. I'm helping you to see that this is a devilish book a book who promise you that when you go to heaven you are going to have women restrained for you in your tent I mean what kind of God this God is this is not even a pimp from Las Vegas I do not need women restrained in my tent what kind of a promise this promise what kind of God <laughs> what kind listen listen what kind of God he promised me a couch in heaven are you serious I will go to heaven. Flush. Imagine, Flush. imagine, imagine, imagine the American. They send me in a spaceship, and I travel for 80, 90,000 years of flight, and then I, I, I arrive to at the heaven, and then I found that waiting for me there, there's a couch and a pillow. What kind of God he promised me a pillow? And this pillow, oh, right. and, and, and this I pillow, listen, listen, and, and this the pillow, and as big as the heavens, listen, listen, do, do you know where is, do you know where is your world. sheet made in? Do you know the sheet of your pillow is made where? The cover of your pillow? Do you know? <laughs> no, what do you mean? It's made in, made in, the, in Iran. You know, what kind of God he promised me, promised me a sheet made in Iran. What is that? What I kind of God, my friend, my so. friend, come to my house, come to my house, huh? 
I will walk in the street and I will show you how many couch you can see in my area. People they throw every weekend and nobody take it. A God, he promised me a couch. Do you think he is God? Do you think he is God? God has pr promised you Jannah as big as the heavens you see. My friend, I'm not talking about the heaven, uh, how big it is. I'm talking about that this heaven, Allah promised me in it, a couch. No, Arsh does not mean a couch. What do you mean? Well, it means, uh, you know, Allah will give you rank, Allah will give you house, just like Mary prayed to Allah that, you know, build my house next to yours. That does not mean Allah will give her a couch or something. That's just metaphorical. Really? Metaphorical? Oh, okay. Well, I don't know. There it says that you will be reclining on those couches and Allah, he is going to provide you with those couches, which is covered by sheet made in Iran. It's called from a fabric. It's called Istabrak. Made in Iran. Iran, yeah, it says there. Stabrak, Stabraka is a fabric made in Iran. You think I'm joking with you? What do you say? Seems like. Okay, I'm, I'm not joking. Hey, the verse in the front of you, chapter, chapter fifty-five, uh, verse number fifty-four. So, what do you say? What kind of God he promised me? Chairs. Couches, well, life of luxury pillows, he promises you, uh, and you and you will wear a bracelet made from gold. Is that correct? Well, I think so. I'm not sure about why. That. Why you want to wear a bracelet? But what is the what is the price of gold in heaven? Uh, Allah says you can have anything you no, 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 wish no, 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 no. He is that. going. No, he is, no, 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 no. It's not about you will have. He will make you wear them. Why he will make you wear bracelet from gold? What is the point? Well, people like it. Do you really like to wear a breast of gold in your hand? I found yeah, it. I, mean, I, I, like I found it very gay. <laughs> I mean, that's your choice. I, 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 for me, I think women they wear bracelet. Why men they want to wear a bracelet? Pharaoh used to wear them. Huh? Was Pharaoh gay? Breast of gold for men. Do you think this is right? I mean, that actually represents your rank and everything, how much you're blessed with. Ah, so the mere breast that you wear in heaven, you are more rich. So there is, you know, um, in the heaven, we will have money and some people are rich, some yeah, people are poor. Yeah, Allah says, mm. give your property and life to Allah okay. and return for something. Right, right. Okay. And then, and then Allah, he will make you recline on your, in your chairs in the heaven. And, the, and, and then he will give you pillows and those pillows are covering, you know, covered by a stubra. I mean, isn't it? This is the most silly. What, what, what about my big screen TV? Why Allah did not mention my big screen TV? Well, Allah says you can have anything you wish for. What if I want to? If, what if you are a man, you wish to have sex with Michael Jackson? I mean, uh, such people will never enter paradise with such wishes. Allah knows. Ah, no, you, no, no, no. It's the opposite. That's what Allah says. It I says, will purify. It Only says, the purified can enter paradise. What purified? You are not purified. You are going there just for sex. The whole purpose of you to be there. No, no, no. Okay, how many he women? Okay, let me of, let you know, me ask you. Let me ask you. Is did he promise you women they are restrained in their tents just to have sex with them? No, there's no such promise you can have sex are you sure them. are you sure sex. are you sure yeah i'm sure okay so what is this verse about here we go read with me please let me show you yes. the screen this verse is speaking about what chapter 55 verse number 72 uh, let me open it up <coughs> It's getting late here, CP. So hmm. fifty-five seventy-two. Fair ones reserved in pavilion. Hmm. What? Uh, what those? Uh, it says there. They, it says there that they are jailed. Maqsurat in Arabic. Maqsurat. They are jailed in their tents. No, maksoor means reserved, not jailed. Reser how you reserve? Okay, I tomorrow I'm going to go to Las Vegas, and one of my friends he reserved for me ten hookers. What do you mean reserved? Well, 
That just means reserved. They're just reserved for you. No, but, my friend, you the, know, word, the word, chaining, that's the word maqsurat is coming from the word, the word maqsurat is coming from the word maqsur, which means they are jailed. And you can read all the Muslim translation, starting from Yusuf Ali, Shakir. It is about women who they are jailed, and those women, they are only... <laughs> For those men, I mean, something's wrong with those translators. I, I, that's totally okay. Wrong. What the translation you agree with, yeah. my friend? Maksur, what actually is, for you? What I is? Mean, I mean, we, we do have this word in Urdu okay, as well. Okay, what is the translation you accept? Who is the translator you like? I would accept the Arabic word as it is because it's part of. But you do not speak well. Arabic. Do you speak Arabic? How you accept the Arabic as it is, but you don't speak Arabic? No, I don't speak Arabic. We do have words from Arabic and Urdu, so it's similar, <laughs> my friend. You don't speak Arabic, but you do not know. And and those and those translators, all of them, they are liars. Look, see, that's why the Quran alone. You know, Muslim, we just believe in the Quran alone. What do you mean? Here we go. This is reserved. my friend. The word is this, is, the word this, is, this is 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 the uh, Quran only. This is your Islamic, you know, uh, website. It says restrained. Not no, so restrain, even you know that. Just be honest. What the word "maksur" does not mean restrain. It mean that. I, I, do you it want? Do you want? You, do you want me? You. Don't you, oh. do you? Do you want me to show you in Arabic? Arabic dictionary. Do you want me to show you, my friend? Do you want me to show you in Arabic? Arabic dictionary. Not only that. All that listen, listen, listen. You are you are a Quran only, but you cannot say to me you don't accept interpretation of the Quran. Correct. When it comes to Quran Arabic dictionary, let me ask you. Let me ask you. It's been done by let me ask you. The interpretation of the Quran made by the scholar is it wrong? Yeah, that's totally wrong. Why? Well, he's injecting stuff that's not actually there. No, I and mean, I mean the word Quran, meaning. I mean, if we go, if we go, and it. if we go and we see what the word maqsuratun mean according to the Islamic scholars, they agree with me. So why forget about hadith? We are not asking you to believe in hadith. Why so all of them? Why all of them? Oh, those are the scholars in Arabic. Why all of them agree with me that the word maqsurat is mean restrained and they are jailed in their tents just for you? Well, something's wrong with them, I think. All of them. Yeah. And you are the something's one. And you are the they only one who knows. Mind. Yeah. You are the guy from Pakistan who knows more than the Arab scholars. Yeah, I think so. Seems oh, like when oh. it comes to this one. Yeah, I think I think we, maybe because of the curry you eat, the Arab are not doing a good job. We need to switch to curry. <laughs> right? Yeah. Come on. You know, anyway. Uh, Come on, see, you're getting personal now. But that's no, fine. no, I, I have nothing. I don't don't think I'm speaking against uh, uh, Indian. I, I have a lot of Indian friends, but you know you, what you are saying is is very uh, illogical. All no, the Arab scholars, all the Arab scholars, all, listen, all the Arab scholars, and they are Muslims, they speak Arabic, they are scholars, like I'm talking about the old days, not like somebody came yesterday speaking today. They, all of them, they give the same meaning for the word, forget about hadith, I'm talking about hadith. Why they are getting the same meaning, the, 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 the wrong meaning according to you, you have no understanding. So we don't you, believe in them. Because, I mean, no, Muslims, it's not believing the them, you, are, you don't have to believe in them, my friend. This is Arabic. This is a pure Arabic. I have nothing to do with believing in them or rejecting them. This is Arabic. There's no point of saying to you what the word meaning in a wrong way if this is not it is. And when all of them agree that this is what it's mean, it's mean, this is what it's mean. So, you know, well, if, if, that's the poor understanding of the Quran that has led to wars, chaos, and violence. My friend, that's it your Quran is the book of violence. This is your Quran no, says, no, no, Quran okay, let me ask you, let me ask peace. you, do you agree? Do you agree with cutting hands and legs of people from opposite direction? No, I do not agree. Why do you don't agree? No, I just don't agree. That's just crazy. Why? What? That, that, because that's crazy. Why, why would I chop someone's hands and feet off? Why not? Why should I? Why? why tell me why you why you say it crazy? Why you are saying it's crazy? Explain to me. That's just crazy. If I just go out and you know just chop people off for being non-Muslims, that's just crazy. Okay, what if somebody is doing something wrong? He is a thief. Is it okay to cut his foot? No, no, no. no. Why, why no? No, you can uh, cut off his hands. Why? Well, that that will be a little too far. That's dangerous. So this is not from Islam. No, this is not from Islam. So if, if somebody he stole some, something, we don't cut his hand, or somebody no. he, he did a crime, we don't cut his hand and his feet. No. 
Okay. So what, how you explain this verse to me? Yeah, sure. Bring up the verse. Mm. I, I know the verse you're going to bring yeah. up. There's. Uh, mm. now, yeah, now you know. Now you remember it, right? In the majaza, the ladina you have been Allah or Rasul, how we are so on of the order of the Sadan and you cut to the oil of the water to ID home, or a Julu home in Kilav. You said you don't agree with you with, with that. You said this is crazy. You said this is so far. Okay, where's the word, word chop off their hands? Where's that? It says, it says what to our oh, Tukta ID him or a Julu home in Kilav, which means if you cut the uh, right hand, you cut the left leg with it. Well, CP, that's in self-defense. What self-defense? They are your, they are your, they are your, my friend, they, they are, they are, this is about thieves. What self-defense? What self-defense? What are you talking about? It, they can't, right, this verse is about the My friend, thieves. my friend, my friend, you are the one who said this is so far just a minute ago because you never thought it's in the Quran. And now you remember, oh, oh, oh there's something in the Quran. So let Which me, this, please. listen, listen, listen. Please. This is about, th this is, this is the, the punishment of thief in islam yeah we can discuss this verse can you please give me the verse number all right this is chapter 5 verse number 33 verse number 33 mm -hmm. yeah self-defense you don't cut the hand of person because already he is your prisoner you don't put it's, him it's in. not about the verse 533 right yeah indeed the penalty for those who wage war against allah and his messenger uh -huh. i mean it's not about the thieves just come on cp what about peace what peace here the way my, my friend my friend my friend waging waging war waging war in islam is doing any kind of mischief and according to uh, uh, against the teaching of islam and specifically oh, here I don't specifically I mean, here okay what is the punishment of theft in islam then in punishment in islam for theft is mm -hmm. uh, you should uh, uh -huh. put cuts on the hand so that people what what know what by what, the what 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 what, what what you just said you cutting the hand no, I, I didn't say cutting the so hand. So what the punishment? the punishment? What is the punishment? The punishment is to put a mark on the hand. Just a cut. Where do you get hand. this from? Where do you get this from? Well, it's from the Quran. Just bring up Sh that exact verse. Show me. Yeah, can you bring that exact verse? Because this verse is where some word? other words. Where word? What? I, 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 I want to learn from you. Where in the Quran it says that the one who is a thief, mark his hand, don't cut his hand. Show me. Can you bring the verse about the thief? About what? About the thief. This is the verse about the thief. No, no, this is not the worst. This is the word. Of, this is the verse about the thief. Right. Let me look that verse for you. <coughs> oh. Well, that's chapter five, verse thirty-eight. Oh, Lord have mercy. What you said? I was away. Yeah, five thirty-eight. Chapter five, verse thirty-eight. Okay, what five thirty-eight says? Show us. We are reading. Well, it says as, <clears throat> mm. well, the translation is wrong, actually. Mm. It says the thief, the male and the female mm. amputate their hands in recompense mm. for what they have committed. Mm. The Arabic word is mm. mm. What qattaw mean? It means to uh, just put a cut on their hands. Just a cut. Really? Okay? Not chop off. Really? Ah, uh, it says, it, it, my it, friend, my friend, let me get you uh, my friend. Are you are you a, a student of Zakir Naik? I mean, this is a big fat lie. Iqta, I mean to cut, to cut their hands. You see, let me let me tell you, let me tell you, let me let me tell you. Let, uh, uh, for what for what? Let me show you. Let me let, let me tell you something about Muslims and how how naive they are. When I showed you this verse, I told you this is about the thief. You said no, right? You said no, correct? But that does not mean. No 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 no. Hold on hold on hold on hold on <clears throat> hold on. Here. It says what talk to ID him it yeah. says the same and then you said to me this is not about the thief this is about so you agreed it's mean it's mean cutting the hands you agreed it's the same word what do you it mean? is the same listen, I have another it is word. the same okay. word I, I listen it is the same word how come here you agreed that this is about cutting hands but then when you go down a little bit few verses after the same exact sentence talk to ID him you Can said you this is 12 31 my friend let us stay here you are the one who called the verses for me you are the one who said to me go and read verse number 38 you are the one who did that was sorry who was sorry it speaks of the same word kata in 1231 okay when, uh, okay the use of can you show me can you show me one one dictionary it says I'm, I'm showing you the Quran is the dictionary for the Quran 1231 
that when Yusuf came to other woman, mm. when uh, you know her master revealed her to mm. other woman that mm. why she committed such a crime, mm. she gave them knives in their hands and mm. they cut out the finger. The cut out mm. does not mean they chopped off their hands. They yeah. chopped off their fingers yeah, that, when they looked but, at but, him. Yeah, that's mean. That's mean. They hurt themselves with their knives. Yes, they put right. a cut on their fingers. Yeah, but this is my friend. So like, the, understanding this is no, here. this no, this is because your Quran is stupid. Because that that verse there, it's mean they cut hands, they cut their hands literally. But because nobody will believe that somebody <laughs> no no listen, 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 literally. listen, listen. Yeah, it's mean they cut their hands. You don't say Fakata Ayeda who unless you cut the hand totally. If you just made a cut in English, you say Jaraha, Jaraha. You don't say qata. So the stupid Quran, because he is very bad in Arabic, and the Quran is full of Arabic mistakes, by the way, it's the most horrible Arabic book ever you can imagine. But because you don't speak Arabic, we will not go to the topic but of the have, grammars. Uh, if you listen, listen, the Quran, you have listen. To save it if we go right Quran. now, if we go right now to Arabic, Arabic dictionary, do you agree to see what the word qata mean? No, the word qata means just putting a cut on the hand and that's it. Do you agree to go to Arabic, Arabic dictionary? No, and I do not believe in the dictionary. Why you don't believe? I believe in the Quran alone. And the Quran it. says, cut the hands. Manipulated okay, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. How you know that here he meant just to make a cut in their hand? Not to cut their hands. How you know? Qatar is there and it's, it's the same. Where? Where it says that? How you know it in doesn't mean cut them off? Hmm? How you no, know? No, cut them off. Okay, how here in the verse before, you said and you agreed that here when it says qata to qata idiom, you agreed that it's mean it means to cut their hands and legs off. You agreed, but you say this is about war. How you agreed with this? If this is the same sentence, the same word to qata idiom wa arjuluhum. How come here you agreed it's mean to cut off their hands and their legs, but there the same word? It's the same word. There, you say it's not, it's, it doesn't say to cut their hands, it says to make cut in their hands. It's the same word. This word does not mean chop off their hands. My friend, you. how come, okay, just it, it, three three verses before, you agreed with it, it's mean to cut off their hands. It's the same sentence, the same word, and the same chapter, and both of them actually speaking about theft, because this is here, is about a bunch of guys, they run away, with the with the camels and supposedly they steal some camel and then they uh, one of them he killed the shepherd muhammad he brought them he put nails in their eyes he crucified them he cut their hands he cut their feet and he made them die slowly in torture way how this is how disgusting your prophet is the verse there speaking repeating the same thing again making it more clear that the one who do a theft you cut his hand and there's not a single muslim in the world don't agree with me so what kind of a Muslim you are? Where well, you get? Where you Qatar. get? Okay, let me ask you. Who is the scholar? Listen, listen. Listen, just listen. Like Taslimu. My friend, my friend. Who is the who is the scholar? You're a scholar who gave you this meaning. Is that your invention or a scholar teaching? Well, that's how the Quran speaks. No, no, no. no. Don't tell me this is how it's got. I'm asking you. Did you learn this from somebody, or this is your invention? No, it's not my invention. So we who is the one? That. Okay, who is the one who taught you this? That this is, does not mean cut hands. Well, after looking at all these verses, this is the conclusion. No, no, no. We came you, to. you just said, you just said, it's not your invention. So you learned from somebody. It's not okay. my invention. Okay, so Why who is the one that? who taught you that? Who is I the one? For me, things within the Quran. So are the you say, okay? Let saying, us make it clear. Are you saying you are the only Muslim in the world believe that this is not about cutting hands, or there is a scholars believe in that? There are other people as well. Scholars. There is any scholars. Well, I don't know if they call themselves. So there's, there's, so there's no scholars. They are just a bunch of Abdul's like you come with their own fictions. A guy who calls himself a scholar is ah. a scholar. So you are, a, you are just a Abdul coming with your own fiction and all meaning out of all the Muslims. And you want us okay, to... Okay, that's fine. <coughs> okay, whatever you say. All right, my friend. Well, thank you for being here, Mr. Fuad. Uh, yeah, thank you. I hope that uh, you have a good time with us and I hope you learn something good. Uh, but take my advice. Muhammad is a false prophet and God... Do not promise you endless penis or big balls or women waiting for you and their legs is up making a victory sign okay. for your majesty. Thank God, you my friend, God, my friend, is not a pimp from Las Vegas. God don't teach to beat the wife. 
God don't teach how to have sex with the children's God don't teach evil God don't say as you said that he will mislead you in his book never there is no way that God will send us a book to mislead us otherwise he is the devil your God is a devil this is why we see in the Quran chapter 5 verse number 15 14 it says that Allah will spread hate and enmity between the Christians until the judgment day your God he target us for very simple reason for we are the true people and this is why at the jal who is the muslim belief he is the antichrist he is the antichrist there, there's no the in Quran, by this the is no he there is there is are you sure yeah yeah show me oh boy i mean i'll be thankful if you can <clears throat> okay okay hold on hold on so you are just saying there's no the jal right no no there's no the jal okay it's a christian concept uh, being infiltrated in islam Hmm. All right. Have you ever heard of an animal? It's called a jassasa. There is an animal mentioned in the Quran, but that animal will speak on behalf of Allah. Daba, it's called. Okay. This animal is what? Uh, no one really knows. What this no animal? One. So this animal will speak behalf of Allah, right? On behalf of Allah. Okay. Does that mean she is a prophet? No, not prophet. So what? He what will they, inform them so of how an animal has denied the word. Uh, of hold on. How an animal will speak in the in the in the uh, in the name of Allah, or will speak in the, what, what you said? Speak what? In will in, speak for Allah and inform people that they right. have been rejectors towards the verses of okay, Allah. Okay, is that a cartoon or this is real? Pardon? Is that a cartoon that there's an animal will come from the ground and he is going to teach us about God? Is well, Allah can make anything. Um, Allah wants. I mean, what can I say? What sort of animal? Okay, what is the point? What is the what is, what is the oh, and, okay? What is the point of this animal? Who is going to come and speak to us about God? Is that animal is a Muslim? The point is that <coughs> the judgment day is approaching. Is, is that animal? Is that animal is a Muslim? Well, you can say that. Yeah, sure. Yeah. So this is a this is a Muslim prophet animal. No, it's not a prophet. It's not making any prophecy. It's just telling people that they have been well, coffers. Well, them. you are saying and to us. No, hold on. You are saying to us that this animal will speak for Allah. Yeah. Okay. What he will say? That people have been rejecting the verses of Allah. Hmm. That's all. So the animal will say to us, it will come to my, he will call me in Skype and he will say to me, Christian Prince, I am an animal sent by Allah to speak to you. How this animal look like? Look like a chicken, a duck, a rabbit, a camel. How he look like? I don't know. Allah knows. Allahu hmm. alam. Allahu alam. And is is he big or small? I don't know. How we will know that this is not an animal made by Apple Store or made by uh, Microsoft or fake? How we know that this is the animal? What if she, maybe Shaitan will come in the shape of an animal? What do you think? Well, it will not be, you know, uh, a robot or something. It will be some biological creature, might be. Ah, okay. So, is it true that this animal is going to have the stick of Musa and the ring of Solomon? No, no, no. I mean, that's just nonsense. Okay. What happened before you go? Like almost, we are uh, up with time. What happened yeah. to the flying carpet of Solomon? Well, he... I don't know. Do you think this animal will use it to come back? As a limousine? No, no, no. Okay, uh, th that's another, you know. All right. Thing. Okay. What, what, what do you think about Suleiman? Uh, a story in the Quran where Suleiman he lost his kingdom. Do you believe in that story? Yeah, I believe in every story of Solomon in the Quran. Mm, he he was in control by, of the genie because of the rings he have. No, no, there are no rings mentioned. No rings. So how he was controlling the genie? Well, Allah has chained them for uh, Solomon. The, the Allah, He chained the genie. Yeah. How they can work when they are chained? Well, the chains were maybe flexible or something. Ah, flexible uh, chain. Okay, I see. And why Allah He chained the genies for Solomon? And what? the word chain could be metaphorical as well. Ah, metaphorical chain. Here we go. You see, I like metaphorical no, chain. Okay. Let, me, let, let, let me ask you: Is is making statues is forbidden in Islam? No, because Solomon made statues of himself. All right. Uh, why he made the statues then? Why he's allowed? Because he was the king. Okay. And who is the one who made the statues for him? Um, that's something I'm not sure of. The maybe genie. Gen the, the, genie maybe. The, the genie. Yeah, the genie. The genie. And I heard that the, the story says that the genie used to die for him and bring him jewelries. Is that correct? Yeah. 
why 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 Suleiman you know he's getting this he's already rich why he need the genie to die for him and get him jewelries is that well, just because he had power and everything but the yeah, genies but, obeyed him. but but those genies are shaitan why the shaitan is making Suleiman rich no, I mean, no, no not every if you read the surah al jinn not every <laughs> jinn is a shaitan shaitan can be a human can be a jinn as well hmm. okay well in the Quran in the verse in the front of us it says uh, chapter 34 verse 12 that Suleiman he used to ride the wind by his flying carpet and uh, in by noon he he passed the distance of one month how fast is that carpet well I'm not really sure I I can't really answer you answer how many this how many people they can ride this carpet Suleiman I guess that's it uh, I, I don't know you don't believe in hadith but according to scholars there was 600,000 chairs on the top of his flying carpet. I mean, the hadiths are... Mm. I don't really want to talk about hadiths. Okay, but uh, okay, but then how you know that the flying carpet is a true story? I mean, why why you are convinced? But the Quran says so. Ah, uh, so just because the Quran says there's a flying carpet. Did you watch ever Ali Baba? Uh, I think I might have. I don't remember. Okay, really. did you watch those stories like the flying carpet and the bird is talking? And the genie in the ball movies. Did you find the? Did you find there's a lot of similarity between them? Yeah, those stories could be, you know, made uh, resembling, you know, Solomon. Ah, okay. Why? Wh okay. How come if we go and we read in the books of fictions the Jews have the legions of the Jews, we find that Muhammad is copying stupid stories, fairy tale stories from the Jewish books? Why do you think the reason? Those are stories that no, exist I before Islam. Muhammad has copied My anything. Friend, no, no, no. Those those stories are exist long before Muhammad is exist. So who? There's no way that they are copying from Muhammad. And those are fiction, stupid stories. The Jews they tell them to their kids. Well, what if they're not fiction and stories? They could be true. Mm. What proof do you have that they're not true? Of course, the Jews believe in them. Oh, okay. All right. All right. Have you ever met a genie, Mister Fuad? No, not yet. Have you? Have you ever heard of Muslims having sex with genie? <laughs> no, I've never heard all that stuff. Well, the Quran says genies have sex with the children of uh, mankind. Why are you laughing? Are you showing disrespect to the Quran? No, the Quran does not say that. Really? So what if I show the you? Quran says the Satan could be partner in their children, which means that children, uh -huh. they uh -huh. follow the Satan. So they're truly the sons of Satan just because they follow Satan okay do the Quran do the Quran have do the Quran have children do the Quran have children sorry the, the shaitan have uh, children <coughs> no, no no I don't know I don't know mm, okay well uh, uh, you know if we go uh, to the Quran we will find that shaitan he have a children's too and uh, if we go let us see here well, that's sort of metaphorical. Ah, okay. That so anything we say, you know, children I, I, of I, Satan. If someone is uh, okay. evil, he's a child of Satan. Yeah, yeah, a child of Satan. It's a metaphorical. Yeah, all right. Well, it was very nice talking to you, my friend. Yeah, and thank uh, you. feel free to call me anytime. And sure. I, I advise you to wake up and read carefully your book. Your book is crazy book. And all what you said to me is recorded there. I want you to listen to it again and again and see how crazy what you just said to me, starting from admitting that your Quran is full of contradictions and you contradict yourself many times. Thank you, Mr. Fuad. Okay. And Thank good you. to have you. Thank you. Okay. Thanks. Bye -bye. All right. <clears throat> I mean, what I can say, you know, the whole point of this madness Quran only is to avoid the stupidity of Muhammad they think by playing the game of Quran only they can run away you cannot this is the most stupid book flying carpet flying a mule uh, you know women who they are virgin and the shaitan did not even if them I, I forgot about, about to, to ask him about this too bad Call me Fuad if you're still there. <laughs> Have you ever heard of Shaitan when asleep with women? I mean, come on. Uh, but they thought if they say and if they claim that we don't believe in the Hadith, they can escape the shames or the shame of Muhammad's stories. 
This is the whole idea. Muhammad is a person, the more he talk, the more he do poo-poo. And the more he smell bad. So to avoid the bad smell, we will say, oh, we don't believe in it. Uh, this is a stupid story. Uh, this is fabricated story, but the Quran itself is collected in the same way the Hadith is collected. The Quran itself is a book of Hadith anyway. The Quran itself is a book of fictions full of stupid stories. So they try to avoid the stupidity of Muhammad by making it contained in the stupidity of what it's called Allah, Aka Muhammad. But the fact, he cannot escape it. This is extremely stupid book. And I advise people to watch this uh, uh, conversation between me and Mr. Uh, Fuad again <coughs> and learn from it. See how Muslims try to escape, but it doesn't work. He admitted loud and clear that his God is a deceiver. He admitted that the book, which is the Quran, is a book made to deceive and to guide and there is no way the same book is the book of guidance and the same book is the book of uh, of the deceiving because simply the one who believe in the quran is the only one is going to be deceived anyway so why uh, why the god he want to deceive his own followers for nobody will believe in this book to be deceived in it anyway unless he is a believer me i read it as i'm not deceived of anything because I don't believe in it. In order to make me deceived, you have to make me believe first. Otherwise, if I don't believe, nothing would happen to me. I'm not a believer in it anyway. If somebody told me that there is a there is a flying carpet, and I don't believe in flying carpet, it's me. You did not deceive me. But the second you made me believe in the flying carpet, obviously, that is a deception. Uh, for those who they are first time here feel free to subscribe to our channel we have an almost live debate every day and we invite all the muslims to call us from everywhere in the world if there is any muslim right now is listening and he would like to call me and to correct his brother or to correct me feel free our name there to call me in skype is you know debate tv and uh, uh, you know uh, you, you do not need even to add me just find the name and give me a call all muslims are welcome it doesn't matter if you are big or small for all of you at the end of the day you are too small for you are following a false god a god who is superstition say stupid things even in cartoons they don't even make sense the prophet of god First time speaking to a donkey, he asked him if he like females. I mean, how crazy that is. Imagine first time I speak to a rabbit, I say, I say to him, do you like sex? I mean, sex? Do you like females? This is the first question. It doesn't make sense. I am going to take... Uh, 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 we will take off uh, for now it's already eight o'clock I think and uh, to make it to make this video only for this debate so people they will not mix with other people I will cut off the broadcast and I will come back maybe in 10 minutes should I come back guys or enough for today maybe is enough for today because I don't think any Muslim will call back anyway for today what do you think do we have any Muslim there would like to call us? All right, I'm going to cut off here to keep this video for those who download just for the debate, starting from the beginning. And remember, by the way, uh, YouTube is taking long to load the video. So it might you to take you two days before you be able to see it from all the way from the beginning. I don't know why, what's wrong with YouTube, but this is what's happening. So I'm going to stop broadcast right now. And I will be back in 10 minutes. And feel free, Muslims, to call me back. May the Lord bless you and see you soon, soon. Five, 10 minutes from now again. Thank you. Bye-bye.